Just going right into it. Are we just go? Are we? I don't know. We could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go right into it then. <laughs> You're gonna fly <laughs> with DMC robots. Oh, if we combine them, they won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a Sunday yeah. afternoon. Yeah, there you go. You sing that one. You sing that. You sing that one. Okay, ready? You just alternate back and forth between lyrics. Just do it. With open arms, going higher. Sounds like Tamba. Sounds like a wide open. <laughs> Tamba, his arm was it. Tamba, his arm, his arms wide open. Yeah. Is that the? Yeah. 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 It sounds and like then, four wait, wrestling when, promos when, playing at once. When the walls <laughs> fell, yeah, we gotta, we gotta when just make man when the walls fell. We, we we gotta we gotta fix we gotta Vince fix the, when uh, the quads broke. <laughs> we gotta make that episode oh, no. like, like a banger <laughs> by putting like song lyrics. Guys, um, I have I I wanted to Bad make an announcement. S- sad I news. Have, I have an announcement to make. Oh, what is that? What dude? Oh. Okay, are you ready for my announcement? If it isn't oh. good, dude, we're going to be so upset, dude, because you hyped it up so much. <laughs> I'm going to say right now, I'm going to be very disappointed already. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want yeah. a picture of a goddamn hot, 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 hot dog. What's the announcement? That's the announcement. Oh, this is just a banger, dude. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> bangers aren't announcements. Yeah, dude, they're just bangers. <laughs> Okay. It's stuck in my head. I just had to. That was yeah. my so long. <laughs> that's going to be opening. great because in the YouTube version of the animation, your mouth will be singing the song. Your yeah. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you can clip that out for your own amusement. <laughs> that's my announcement. Excellent. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry you if know it was what? very unex- it unexciting. Was, it was y- exciting for me. You were two <laughs> notches. You were two notches away from making me disappointed. Uh, but it's a it's a banger. So I love. It. Okay, see, I see, I I made up for it. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it has been in my head nonstop. Like I, who, but you have shared it with us. But you haven't you. seen any more episodes of King of no, the Hill since last I have, week. No. I have not. I have not. That's okay. quite the conundrum. <laughs> it is. Whoa! <laughs> uh, we, we watched Conundrum this week. Which is another everybody forgot what's going on episode. <laughs> oh yeah, this is newbie Star Trek, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so this is newbie. Well, since Welcome. you said that, we might as well Welcome. introduce ourselves. That that was Sarah who just talked and said. Why that's are we Sarah. introducing ourselves? I don't know because no, because Dan, Dan said point? Dan said we're we newbie Star it. Trek. So I'm Marvin. And I'm Sarah. I'm a newbie. I'm, I'm Dan, who is now a newbie at this point. I'm a, I'm a hot dog man. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll eat the party. There you go. You're a hot dog man sending his kids through college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the party. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and With this... arms wide open. <laughs> Guys, I want to say this. I haven't, I haven't said this enough. Oh. Um, if you are uh, easily offended, mm. uh, it's fine. We, we're okay with you not listening to this podcast. We, you don't have to. Mm. In fact, mm. anybody, like, look, I'm not telling you not to listen to it. I'm I'm cool with you listening to me, but I'm just saying if you're easily offended or you don't like any Bible jokes, then you know <laughs> this general <laughs> just Bible that one jokes. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah Bible jokes. This is not for you. Yeah, if you think if you think like, we oh, got God. the Bible here, okay. It was we, so funny you, when okay, the Red okay. Sea parted and then fell yeah. on those Romans, those Egyptian soldiers. Oh, it was so funny. If well, that's you, what you get when you don't use a Beyblade. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> like you're supposed to. Yeah, dude. If That's the you... most audacious move I've ever seen in an anime to claim <laughs> that Moses was a Beyblade user. That's strong. That is strong anime energy. Oh, <laughs> uh, sometimes I absolutely love the irreverence Japan has for Western religion and, and theology. It's amazing. Next, I'll be saying uh, Jesus was a Yu Gi Oh user. But him being put up on the cross was him setting up his trap card. <laughs> I'm surprised he isn't already a monster card. <laughs> he's, he's, he's delegated down to the status of a monster. There's like regular Jesus and then blue eyes white Jesus that's resurrected. So if you're easily offended by jokes like that. And then you play him in defense then mode. This isn't for you. And it's fine. We, uh-huh. we, 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 Marvin we, is, Marvin we is losing his shit. I know, dude. 
You bring up one Jesus hey, joke and according he loses to, shit. According to some some people, Jesus did have blue eyes. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if you believe in the creed Jesus, then yeah. yes. You have blue uh, eyes. Um hey guys, uh, uh it's fine. Uh you don't have to listen to the to the whole episode, uh to to rage comment. Uh not that I would know because I don't read comments, but Marvin does. <laughs> and I don't I want to save him the time. Uh, maybe Sarah sometimes. Occasionally, just All be. It's fine if you're angry. If you're angry, comment you, more. You can interact hate that's true. with. That's true. Interact. Thankfully, uh, no one can more. read common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than common that, is for, unreadable for the longtime listeners. <laughs> hey, thank you for your service. Keep Illegible. on keeping on, uh, Becky with a G. Uh, who else? Uh, Lenny, uh, the homie that that drew the Tapatia bottles. All you guys, you guys are cool. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, Charlie the Tapatio. Charlie yeah. with the Tapatio. Charlie. Um, there you go. See, you did it. You is he did British? The, Was he British? He, no, no, but you 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 kept asking me why are you why are you <laughs> saying Charlie with the British accent? I'm like, yeah. Well, now he now got it from us. Yeah, so. hypocritical yeah. asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't call is, her Carter out on anything that happened in the past unless you're prepared yeah. to explain what he did in the past. <laughs> yeah. It's his ultimate defense. It's, it's why it's why Ricardo can never be canceled because like, in I his do? mind it's already gone. Yeah, <laughs> can't apologize for something that didn't happen in my mind. Um, so thank you for your service, guys. Um, hey, if you like that uh, that uh, this podcast, hit that cancel button. <laughs> No, okay, smash seriously. the unsubscribe thank you, button. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> thank you for the people that have that have that are out going out there and getting their internet protected by ExpressVPN. Thanks for the people that are getting yet. their dick skin wallets. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I'm just thanking people, yet. dude. Mm-hmm. This is my this is my uh we're, He's we're feeling close to Thanksgiving. Grateful. Yeah, I'm He's feeling, feeling grateful, grateful today. All right. Yeah. This is this is Mexican Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dude. <laughs> um, it's not even Canadian Thanksgiving yet. Yeah. Oh, uh, almost though. Yeah. yeah. It's getting there. Guys. Was it me or was this episode just a, a long uh, version of the uh, I think you should leave episode with the hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who the hell would do this? We're He's all like, trying to figure yeah, out who did this. Who did this? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what I say is you, when we find him, you, you, you pull on his pants and you spank his bottom. <laughs> God. I regret yes. not having seen that episode. I've seen oh, various clips great. of the show. Oh man, yeah, this is yeah, this is Tim Robinson just stole all this <laughs> from Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love uh, I love when the guy shows up and he's like, I don't have any memories either. <laughs> <laughs> No, that first shot when he's like in the background, yeah. like going, yeah. Bruh. it's yeah. so like I was <laughs> cracking up immediately. Like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, so immediately hilarious. Sarah and I were like, who is that guy? It's cool. yeah. The audience, the audience is kind of in on. We're like, who's this fuck? Yeah, yeah. it's great. I, 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 I kind of <laughs> like that setup because the audience immediately knows. Hey, that's the asshole. No, <laughs> but it, it, didn't, it didn't work automatically because sometimes I was like, oh, sometimes Star Trek throws in like random extras who get their moment to yeah, sign. Yeah, it might just yeah. be whatever Ensign yeah. was at the helm. No, 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 no. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it worked immediately because he didn't look like a random extra. He looked like the hot dog guy from the sketch, dude, because, because, <laughs> he, because he was like overacting. He was, he was like, he was he like, was how do these guys, how do these guys usually react as, as a, as a, like, as a group of, of, uh, of officers? He's like, what the devil? Uh, do we curse devil? on this? Yeah, do we curse on this bridge? He's like, ah, what the fuck's happening? Um, oh my god! Yeah, anyway. that was that was fun. I will yeah, say well, that a part of me recoiled from this episode because it felt like the Graggle joke in the Simpsons meme sphere. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that is, dude. That's all I'll say about That's that. Good. That's fine. It's good. You don't know what that is. It's don't fine. Know what yeah. that is fine. Don't bring it back. No, no one, no one bring it back. All I want is a picture of a god dang hot dog, dude. <laughs> there you go. Hot dog. Well, speaking of hot dogs, actually, no, that doesn't, but we watched Conundrum this <laughs> week. Uh, Conundrum first aired on February 17th of 1992. Dan, let's get a god dang hot dog. Around the sun. <laughs> yeah. It's Probably so easy way to cook a hot around. dog. Yeah, With but throw the hot dog open. into orbit around the sun. It'll start cooking, you know? Yeah. yeah. That, that sounds pretty appetizing. Anyway, <laughs> the first thing is in the box office, 
Wayne's World. Wayne's oh, World. Party oh. time. Excellent. Sick. Woo, 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 woo. Released on Valentine's Day, and it would rain over the box office for several weeks afterward. It was a Valentine's Day, Day movie. Oh. Yeah. That could Perfect be a good date movie, date. actually. That's actually a potentially fun date movie, because it's like a broad comedy that's fun. So that's yeah. a good date movie. Yeah. 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 Then, then it had, yeah I'm sure it, it won many hearts that day. Yeah. The very next day, Jeffrey Dahmer was found both sane and thus guilty of like a whole grip of murders. <laughs> Wow. Um, a whole of murders of murder. even. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so that's all there is for, for post Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. Speaking <laughs> of crime, also on 215 of that year, the Fox show Cops aired its 100th episode. Oh no. I was curious about whether it was still going on and like it was on Spike TV for several years, right? And then it became yeah. Paramount like the Paramount Network and then yes. Cops it, they dropped Cops and then Fox Nation picked it up. And Fox, Fox Nation. Nation is a subscription video on demand of service course. designed to be a companion to Fox News Channel. So okay. they're right now their original programming involves things like Tucker Carlson in the day instead of the night <laughs> and um, <laughs> Duck Dynasty stuff. Yes. Cops, which is on hiatus due to strikes, but will be resume airing in October. Oh, so cops came back. Okay. Yes. Because I know been, I, it's been ongoing. Because I know that cops, I think, at least had a cancellation because of the George Floyd protests. I think mm, that's yeah, why. Yeah, I think there was a gap during. <laughs> yeah, but it has come back and on. You know, the network that you they were would like, expect. hey, maybe we should stop making like glorifying cops in that yeah, way. It became a little harder to do that in a broader network. You know what's the most shocking thing I've seen on Cops? It was an episode where they shot a guy in the stomach and then everyone just kind of stood around while the guy was holding this hole in his stomach, which wasn't bleeding that much, surprisingly, but you could see a distinct bullet hole in his tummy and he was just kind of covering it every once in a while and the cops were like, should we, what do we do? What do you do? (laughs) Oh, that's (laughs) disturbing. (laughs) Do they still use the same theme song? Uh, bad boys, I, bad boys. I just don't have to. Oh, you mean, no, the changes to with eyes wide open. With eyes wide open. <laughs> <laughs> well, a more, a more religious song, yes. So no, that's appropriate. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Can Keep, you get take your arms wide open right higher. now? Okay. <laughs> or we'll shoot. Arms My wide open. Sacrifice. <laughs> just the entire creed rotation goes through in cops now. Uh, yeah but that, that concludes our back, trip around the sun now that i'm looking oh. at this episode this guy does look hella suspicious and like that he doesn't belong <laughs> he's well, like looking around like well, <laughs> i've lost my memory too so hard. <laughs> i'm just like oh how did uh, i not notice that it is i, I do like either. that how like in terms of editing, he's snuck in. He's not like yeah. kind of like they don't cut to him as if obviously this is a new guy. They yeah. just cut to him. Sh- yeah, and yeah. they like dolly past him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they don't yeah. show like an alien kind of dropping him and then like you know, yeah, yeah transforming yeah. into a human or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They don't have a se- they don't have a scene where someone's like tell uh, transport Strand to the bridge yeah. and then. <laughs> Uh, it's it's a little more subtle. And and I guess to someone who had maybe not seen that much TNG, it would just seem like this is just another random person I mean, who's it, on it, the bridge. It, it fooled me for a little bit until I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so all right, it works. Right. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't, well, get, don't get ahead, dude. Well, I guess instead of getting ahead, we should get a VPN because a VPN mm-hmm. is good for making sure that you're safe on the internet if maybe you're looking for a head. I don't know. That could what be. Are you a weird thing. What are you talking about, Marvin? That, are you talking about listen, the sexual act? That? Maybe, maybe, like literally, you're you're trying to find a head on eBay, and you're like, but oh, I don't want okay. them to know. I I don't want the FBI to put me on a list for mm. looking up weird stuff. I have legitimately looked up suspicious things on the internet for like research for writing screenplays that I I don't think I don't know dude it sounds suspicious dude <laughs> um, exactly it does sound suspicious no it sounds no- like something a killer would say to cover his tracks <laughs> yeah but no I'm a screenwriter I, 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 I'm a screenwriter <laughs> but no one will ever know because I used a VPN to cover my tracks and specifically Express VPN because not only is Express VPN super fast like the name suggests it's also super secure and Actually, I forgot to mention, I've been testing how fast ExpressVPN actually is because uh, we, we finally got fiber internet at our house. 
Uh, so I was like, okay, how fast is it with fiber? And I have, uh, we, no, we got one gig fiber and it almost reaches one gig. And that's amazing for a VPN speed. That's like way above and board almost anything you would ever need with VPN. So that's pretty great. But also it's super secure because of the turkey, like we've all said before. And it's very convenient. It's you, it's available in every app you can think of pretty much. Uh, it has 3,000 plus servers in 160 locations spanning 94 countries, which means no matter where you are, you'll have a closer somewhere nearby. And it actually works super well with streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus because they keep rotating their IP addresses so the blacklists can't keep up. They can't keep them out. You know what? You know what? I'm going to get a little serious for a second, dude. All right. All right. All right. To be honest, dude, real talk, dude. If you unfortunately live in a shitty state like Florida or one of those like uh, that's true. one of those one of those states that like they're burning books like fucking Nazis, or you, you gotta enter your book, driver's yeah. license in yeah. to watch porn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, mm-hmm. dude. Here's the thing, dude. I support your goddamn right to fucking bear arms, dude. But you have to support my right to watch porn anywhere I want, dude. In any state, dude. Absolutely. Any state, dude. Absolutely. 100%. We support each other, dude, because we're American, dude. You have your gun. You masturbate with your gun, and I'll masturbate with regular <laughs> old time style. Uh, and if you live in a state that's like that, dude, it's going to get worse, dude. It's going to get worse, dude. If this. We're going to have to go back to magazines. Yeah. If the suck ass tough. fucking becomes president, like God it's going to be bad. So get your DVDs. VPNs now. Get your VPNs mm-hmm. now. And, and, uh, no one will know what you search. No one will know that you search that you, you look feet, you like, Crack, uh, cranking as a feet. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares what you like as long as it's consensual. No one care. No one should. No, it should be nobody's business. You can look you up watch, your dude. Star Trek porn in peace. Yes, yes, dude. We all know. You know. I don't know if there's a Picard. Yeah, one out if, you're, there. if you're like oh, broccoli, you know? Of you, you know there's there's a lot of broccoli you know? robs out there. <laughs> there's broccoli. There's broccoli robs out there looking up. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Deanna Troy's feet. Oh, and yeah. there's a lot of you know. Of, to be fair, no one, you don't. You could just look at an episode to find a ton of that. <laughs> Marvin, <laughs> Marvin, but is it going to be you loops judge. for an hour? <laughs> I'm not judging. No, I'm not just saying it's and that's hour. freely available. Oh, those. Um, but I'm just saying you don't <laughs> want your internet service provider to know what you search or yeah. your stupid fucking state, dude. And I'm talking about all the states are stupid. Yep. Uh, not just Florida. Oh, mm-hmm. California, New York. New York just started getting trash cans. They used to just throw their fucking trash bags out <laughs> in the fucking street like fucking yeah. Oh, they're, they're actually getting trash cans? That's crazy. Yeah, wow. dude. They it finally only, they finally modernized. It only took fucking, them 250 years. Yeah. <laughs> you should just yeah, throw dude. the bag out there. I love how people are like, New York is the best, dude. No, you guys don't even have trash cans, you fucking dirty fucks. <laughs> fucking Wait, New York. Wait, they're taking yeah. the rats jobs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah. They're, they're yeah. basically going, rats, rats. They, rats, they have rats. The yeah. Go back to your country. <laughs> and they're like, well, we're from here, dude. We're, we're American, bro. And they're like, well, you guys are over here taking all our jobs. Now we're taking your jobs, putting trash cans up. Uh, so if you want to take some, another, a poor rat's job, yeah. you can head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months there, you can get an extra three months for free, which is a total savings of 49%. And I forgot to mention, other services come with ExpressVPN. You know, it comes a password manager, a threat detection thingy that makes nice. your websites are doing weird stuff to you. And if you don't like any of it, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to you whatsoever. You can try it out for 30 yep. days. And if you don't like it, just get your monies back. So again, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie star track. And if you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months free yeah dude this isn't like the finger hut where you like bought something you're like i'm fucked dude can't return it dude <laughs> this you can return 30 days you don't have to be like oh, i bought it from a fucking magazine dude <laughs> uh and next good old wallet mogul exter e-k-s-t-e you guys, you guys remember when when the you still only have seven day return policies most stores and then and then oh, yeah. like, this is fucking bullshit dude what yeah. if, I, I can't think of this thing in seven days. What if it's a gift and I go into that party for yeah. seven days? You're fucking me, dude. And you don't even like open it and get into the gift until like yeah, you know, yeah. a week later. Wow. So they, then they did 14 mm-hmm. days and then now the standard's 30 days. But but we suffered through seven days. At least I yeah. did. Yeah, seven days is pretty quick. I mean, extra is even more. Extra is 100 days. You have a oh, 100 day return. Wow. 
So, you mean, so you could, they're on the cutting edge. Yeah. I mean, like you could, you could break in that wallet, take yeah. it to a bunch of events and show off and then send it back within a hundred days. Look, it's a oh, ton and, of stuff. And, uh, Look, you know, Marvin, period. I want you to give, I, after Ricardo, Ricardo, um, I want, I want, actually, I saw a comment about an extra wallet and I want a chance for you to clear the air. I think someone said that, you know, you only had it for three years and that's not a long time for a wallet, but I want you to tell the people what that wallet went through. Oh, okay. Before you got well, a new one, you know? Just, well, just so you I know. mean, <laughs> the main reason why it didn't last is because- Beyond three years. I, I swam with it for an hour and- <laughs> So that In didn't the ocean. help. <laughs> and then I've dropped this wallet many times. And the wallet, the drop that finally killed it was when it fell down the stairs all the way down. Like it hit the perfect corners that it just kept tumbling all the way down from the top. Uh, and that was, it Dude. was like almost comical. And Dude. it still functions as a wallet technically. It's just the pop out yeah. mechanism doesn't work correctly anymore. That's it. And, so and, that's and why. the thing is, those mechanisms are not made to get wet, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I mean, mean, to its credit, even yeah. after swimming for an hour, it did work fine. It's just combined with that, plus dro having dropped it a bunch of times before and then dropping it down the stairs. Yeah. That's when it kind of stopped Here's working. Here's the thing is that not even, iPhones, not even iPhones last three years. No, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually that's true. true. You get to yeah, the two yeah. and a half and they explode in your fucking trash. <laughs> yeah. Um, like that coffee, that McDonald's coffee. Um, allegedly. Um, <laughs> No, so, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say, guys. I forgot. Oh, Thanks I'm so sorry. sorry. I, I, had <laughs> to, I had to say something about that. Now I feel right. bad. I'm well, going to go back in time. You screwed me, dude. Here's <laughs> the thing. I, I, I remember now. I just remember. I just remember. <laughs> um, the best place. Look, I know this is, this is an extra wallet fucking ad, but the best place that has the best fucking <sighs> return policy is like a store <laughs> like, uh, like Macy's or uh, Mich Michelle, what's the other store that like, has like a... They don't even have a return policy. They just bring things back after years. Really? What's that? What was it? No, no, no. The, the, the other store at the mall. Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's. Oh, has, Bloomingdale's. Has yes, 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 they, yes. They, yes. they, is, they used to. So, like, Bloomingdale's, I think Macy still has it. So, okay. So, mm -hmm. here, I'm going to do some, some, some honesty here. I was really heavy when I got married, and I bought a suit at Macy's, right? Mm -hmm. Bought a, a, a Calvin Klein suit. Mm -hmm. And then I lost a ton of weight. And mm -hmm. the suit didn't fit me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what do I, I, I should probably donate it. I can't do anything with this suit. Mm -hmm. And then someone said, I think they have a really good return policy. And <laughs> take into account, this has been years, dude. <laughs> like, oh my God. God. You had the yeah. receipts still? <laughs> no, no, wait. No. They just I looked at my name and they found me oh on the God. system. <laughs> Because I pay with a credit what? card. You don't even need a receipt. No, That's no, crazy. no. And, and, and they were like, Whoa. they were like, we can't give you your money back, but you can go get another suit that fits you, and I'll go give you store That's credit. That's sick. Yeah. So I got another. That's suit. actually great. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow. Now, Didn't they look get... you up and they were like, "Sir, this was like five years ago." Yeah, like, yeah. That, well, I told, I told the dude, I was like, "This is like years ago, bro." Because oh, wow. I had my kid with me. I was like, look, he's this guy's a proof, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. He wasn't yeah. here before yeah. when and, I got this suit. They did it. They did. They gave me store, store credit. And wow. They returned it. wow. That's really cool, well, that's actually. That's actually really yeah. cool. Now, if that's they just so sold extra wallets there. Yeah, mm. yeah Marvin would have been able to maybe, get yeah. Maybe one day they will. Maybe yeah, one day yeah. Macy's will carry extra wallets. Because, you know, they are very stylish looking. Uh, the, the Their flagship wallet is the Parliament. And that's like leather bound and it looks nice. It looks like a nice leather wallet, you know, like a classic one, but then it has that quick release access button. So when you click it out, all the cards fan out. I've had multiple people go, whoa, what is that? That's crazy. Your cards just fanned out so you can grab one. Really I hope quickly. you just say extra, extra. Extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it. I, said. I, just, I just whispered. And you wimp, you wimp, you wink. Yeah, he whimpers. <laughs> he whimpers. He whimpers. Whimper and he, <laughs> he, cower, he, 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 he just, he just first fucking, you whisper extra, yeah. like mysteriously, oh, and then you whimper. Yeah. He's oh, like, oh, oh, it's oh, extra. It's extra. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's that's it's made what out, I totally meant. <laughs> it's made out of high quality materials like leather as and aluminum as he and carbon fiber. And if you're lucky enough to f to buy it when it's available and you have the money for it, the solid <laughs> gold. So if you want, <laughs> if you want a solid fucking gold. solid gold wallet, you can buy one for think, I'm trying to think what I would think of a guy if like we're on a date and you go to pay for Get the a fucking meal solid gold and you pull out a fucking solid gold wallet. I really don't know what I then would Then you're think. going home I'm with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be like, that you guy's know getting fucking yeah. laid. You're not getting out of the way. I made up my mind. <laughs> yeah. 
make just, room for the rest of us. Uh, yeah. Wow. I just, I'm not sure what I would think to be honest. You know what, you know what you I'm think sure. is, is this guy's about to, this, the same thing's going to happen to, to this guy that happened to Liam Neeson's daughter, dude. He's going to get taken. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, but we <laughs> should. This is also much. Ex- Exer does sell other stuff too. They got their grid backpack now, and they have their tech pouch. They have their everyday carry bag, tech and they pouch. have their weekend bag. <laughs> they got all sorts of stuff that you can yeah. get at exter.com. So if you want to just poke around, see what you like, head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie, or just use the offer code newbie when you check out at exter.com. That's spelled E-K-S-T-E-R.com. And it adds up to an additional 25% off any order site-wide. So that means, let's say there was already a sale that was 10% off. You add an additional twenty five percent off on top of that. That makes oh, the we whole know thing how things stack. Thirty five percent. We we've off. played crazy. with Legos, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> we know how things stack. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes Legos. Uh, then yeah. So then also free shipping on any order of fifty dollars or more. Free returns within a hundred days of receiving your order. A twelve month warranty at least on all products because the grid stuff. That's a two two year warranty. Yeah. Much longer. And a free tool card with any order above $125. So that's pretty good. So again, head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie or use offer code newbie at exter.com for an up to an additional 25% off any order site wide. If look, Christmas is coming up and you're gonna go to the stupid fucking holiday party. And there's probably gonna be a gift exchange. So this is like a, a nice, like neutral gift. They're like it's who true. doesn't who everybody could use a wallet. Do you mean? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um Depending so, on if there's like a limit on the spending. Thing oh there. boy, here we go. Excuses, dude. <laughs> Just saying, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, well, if you want to get a small wallet, thing, dude. like they have like keychains too, and they, they have also like have money the, they also have a wallet that goes in the back of the iPhone. That's, That's true. Too. Yeah, they have the MagSafe wallet too. Yeah, so that mm. could also go. If you have an Android and you you just like shitty phones, and then, then I don't know what to say, dude. <laughs> then, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's no wallets yeah. for that for that phone. It's true. We don't this carry is not magnets. for you. Yeah, dude. You guys don't like magnets. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just scared of magnets. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. We we become Hank Hill around magnets. Yeah. <laughs> All you guys want to do is print out pictures of hot dogs. Denise Crosby, help us with this hot dog. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? She really likes to enunciate, dude. She's, well, she's a professional. She actor. wanted to make sure. Also, it's the same clip every time, so <laughs> it's never going to change. <laughs> did she give you? Did she give you one? Like, did she give you a couple takes? Or no, it was just, just one, one shot? That's she was like, just what she see, gave you, yeah. just one. That's yeah. because she enunciated. She's like, I'm going to enunciate, and this is a what she, one taker. She's like, I'm a professional. I only need one take, and bam. Yeah. That was her nickname. Yeah. That's so crazy. Wait, crates. this was off of what yeah. cameo? <laughs> off of like cameo or something? Don't think about it. <laughs> Here's the thing. Where um, was this from? Like cameo or something? No, no. We, he found her in the streets and he, yeah. he harassed her and he held her at gunpoint. Oh. I followed her home. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was like, you must say this. Yeah, like Broccoli Rob. Okay, so this is what happens in this episode. If I work for headquarters or what's it called? The union? What's the union called? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Starfleet. Starfleet. A- Enterprise? No, Starfleet. that's the ship. Space Starfleet. Train. Space Fleet. If, if Space I work for Fleet. Starfleet. Space Force. <laughs> and they tell me, I'm like, well, tell me what happened. And they're like, okay, so like, they got a, they got, there was like a, uh, there was like a little thing, and like they were checking out this like noise, this beeping, and they went over there, <laughs> and then the ship <laughs> they showed were checking up. Checking out this beeping, <laughs> yeah, and 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 then instead of instead of uh putting the shields up, the captain willy nilly just goes, well, let, let's not do that. Let's let's go down again. this time. Yeah, just like with the yeah. ravioli episode where Picard I, was like, let's I not swear, put up shields. I swear, dude, <laughs> I would court martial fucking John Luke Picard, dude, and, and be like, you're never allowed to fucking captain another. Fucking and the ship crazy again, dude. part is, once Worf was like, well, they're they're charging up their guns. What should we do? And Picard has this look on his face where he's like, hmm. I guess we'll put up shields. And it's like, oh my god. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah he pulls holds up his hands like. Fine, you got me. It's time for shields, finally. Yeah. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, fool me once, strike two. Fool me three, if by C. And they they <laughs> fooled this guy a bunch of times, dude. A bunch of times. And I hate it, dude. I hate it. I hate that the, this type of shit is, keeps happening. And if this is a flagship, 
look again i'll say this for the people who have seen this show and are, and are in love with this show i get it i also enjoy the show but i'm just i'm just putting this in like a world like imagine this is in the dc verse dude where it's real and gritty dude oh <laughs> like i'm sorry the batman movies the moment the um, moment you brought up comic books though that you it's gonna, <laughs> like how many fucking times do they repeat a world ending event yeah in the course of like one story <laughs> well here's the thing here's the thing if, if, if we're if we're treating this like oh this could be the future god damn it these guys would have been court-martialed dude and like mm. probably executed right to be honest um <laughs> just just executed yeah like, so they don't foul the earth with another fucking fuck up um so they they go no shields and and god damn picard he's so much more than this dude there's everyone should should have been like uh number two not not poop but the actual number two in charge uh uh uh, Freaks should have been mm-hmm. like, uh, um, God damn it! Why am I blanking on his name? I'm no, waiting. don't don't tell me, don't tell I know, me. I'm waiting. <laughs> Riker, Riker should have been like, Riker yeah, yeah. should have been like, hey, this happens all the time, dude. This is fucked up. Let's not go like this, dude. Let's go in tearing shit up, dude. Shields up, shooting. Also, just one ri- the the cold mm-hmm. opening of the episode is Deanna and Data playing 3D chess. Yeah, and Deanna, I don't buy that shit for a second. Yeah, Deanna yeah. somehow beats him. Yeah, that's, that's not bullshit. And you're, dude. Like, bullshit and you're like, even dude. the best fucking chess players shouldn't be able to beat Data. No, it's okay. not even a thing about Deanna being like unintelligent or not a no, great no. tactician no, no, or whatever. Yeah, it's like it's fucking Data. That's exactly yeah. what I mean. It's like remember, I, remember I, when I, the, I get a Deep Blue hasn't happened yet, right? I don't think so. That? What are you talking about? Yeah, remember he played so. the, he played that nerd the the nerd that looks like a pig <laughs> and he beat him. He beat him with Street Fighter. Stratagema. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stratagema. Yeah, yeah. He beat, no, yeah, he beat no, Stratagema, man. No, he can't oh, beat yeah, Deanna. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh. I, I call bullshit on that. And I kind of skipped because, over it because it was really upsetting. And Deanna <laughs> claims it's a game of intuition. It is abjectly not a game that is about... It's not also, poker. Also? Like, <laughs> it's <laughs> like well, it it's, it's 3D chess, chess though. <laughs> You don't yeah. know. Damn it. Uh, maybe you she don't said know. off. Maybe she said off screen, like, "Hey, Data, let me win this one and pretend that." <laughs> I just really <laughs> want you to make like me that. a goddamn Sumerian I sense. Yeah. I just, okay. want, I just want to publicly look cool in front of everybody yeah. at Ted Four. <laughs> well, just an alcoholic. <laughs> she wins. She wins, and she wins like a fucking Zima. Um, uh, <laughs> and um, and she's like, maybe a Zima, like 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 I used to have when I was a kid. <laughs> and she's like, all right, an authentic Zima coming up. And he makes her a guy. Why Zima. does he have to make it? Because that was a bet. Know. That was a bet. Like, but I guess he he's good at it. it? Think think about it. He's the only he one who really the knows how. information in the world. Okay. He knows how to make the best team in the world. Do you think the computer okay. knows how to do it? He does. <laughs> what about Guinan? Guinan doesn't Guinan's know shit, dude. Mysteriously if, you wanna, missing. if you want to ask her about fucking wizard yeah, shit. Yeah, where the fuck is Guinan? Where the fuck is the bartender? If Guinan was, was here, bartender? the episode would have ended in 10 minutes because Guinan would have been like, wait, this is wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so, so she wins and she wins Zima. And then and then they meet the ship and, and, and like um some weird things are happening. But um Riker's on his way to the bridge with um, Ensign Roe. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I said this, but she's really attractive. Oh, that's, uh, you know. With her little face, her face thingy. Yeah. yeah. I don't, <laughs> don't, I don't like that. The earring I, loop. I, I, don't, I like the earring. You don't like aliens, Sarah. You're yeah, very dude, you're, xenophobic. You're, you're, you're racist, thing. dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like her face I guess, thing. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I guess I shouldn't say that. Maybe that's, that'll, that'll play back unfavorably for me in the future. Yeah. Let's you know isolate that clip. I don't like that. Say, <laughs> <if you wanna, laughs> like, wow. If you want to cancel Sarah, <laughs> send your emails to... <laughs> I don't like the face thing that's on her face. Um, so, so basically, he's like, "Hey, you got to do things the right way, not not the the row way." You know what I mean? Yeah. And also, she's like, though, the way he's talking to her, I'm sorry, it's unacceptable. Like, she's an ensign, dude. No, like what are you talking about? the way she, I would go off on him if he talked. It's to me true. Like There's a double Absolutely standard. Because if, if Wesley did that, he's they would have been like, "Oh, good job, Wesley. You did a great job figuring no, that out on your own." He's like yelling at her, and I don't you know? know. I just think it's really unprofessional. I think opinion. I think it's a double standard because Wesley yeah. also an ensign. Well, yes, I think it's he, a double standard. I'm but just but assuming that this is the latest in a string of offenses that she's been, you know, since getting on board. Yeah, he's been angry at her 
since okay. the moment but, she landed on the but ship. But we know so. it's because he wants to fuck her. That's that's what we find well, out. Well, I guess, of course. I, <laughs> yes. I guess you know, like how, the end, you know I guess? like how you're yeah, like, yeah. isn't it like in Love Actually? Remember in Love Actually where the guys like no, no, treating none of us, the... None of us have seen in Love Actually. <laughs> well, it's like, it's, it's like the all. syndrome. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like the actually. syndrome where like you you basically treat the person you want to fuck like shit, you know, like you yell at them, you berate them, and you can't. Is that why yeah, Liu Kang like, kills Shang like, Sung? Well, like that's Luke like Kang the classic Sonya. schoolyard bullying like yeah, explanation exactly. yeah. that, that's yeah. been given. It's like love it oh. happens in love actually. It's, it's like, like Scorpion you, treats uh, Sub Zero. Yeah. Yeah, it's why Scorpion shoots the 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 little kunai yeah. to draw people closer to him. Mm-hmm. That's why. It, it's so, why uh, Calvin throws water balloons at Susie. Yeah. 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 And he's exactly. always pissing on things. Um, it's like, like your typical thing, arms. but he's just yeah. acting so unprofessional <laughs> in this. I, and uh, okay. I absolutely so, not okay. A couple of things. <laughs> Having worked in the industry you work in, Sarah, you've never been <laughs> yelled at yell you like this by anybody. Tell me. You've uh, never been I yelled have, at? I have been, but I don't I don't handle it well. That's when I that's when I rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I don't but, do <laughs> but this is this is a military. This isn't like a uh you know Fuck that. a job that it, uh, it's, I guess in the military they really fucking yeah. I mean they like molest. Procedure's a huge and, thing in the military. You, you know? can't yeah. like yeah, yeah you yeah. can't just do whatever you unless want. Unless <laughs> you're Wesley and then you get away with anything. Yeah. Um, unless you're I, don't know. I guess I guess I was just thrown off because I've never seen Riker really talk to anybody else like that. Like, he talked uh, to Barkley that way. Yeah, Broccoli okay, Rob. But he's also like easy pickings, I feel like sometimes. But uh, no, I feel like I feel like <laughs> once or twice he talked to Wesley like that. Once. Yeah, maybe. I've yeah? seen that. Oh, we, yeah. Yeah, I remember Not nearly that, to the Wesley. consistency he has with Roe. It's yeah. just like uncomfortable. Oh, what you, consistency though? This is only your third appearance. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Come but on, we guys. know why. I mean, we're jumping ahead, but we know why at the end of the day. Like they set up that yeah. scene to be like, oh, he wants the fucker. Yeah, like this is entirely know? just to be like, hey, they're at each other's throats, but yeah. just you wait. Just yeah. you wait. <laughs> they're gonna have <laughs> lots of sexy sex. They fuck it. You know? Yeah. So, they fuck so a lot. They show you know? up they show up to the bridge and they, they're all doing their their blippity blops on the fucking computer. <laughs> and uh and they're like, Oh, there's a, there's a thing hailing us and like should we should we raise the shield and, and Picard's like, nah, dude, we're friendlies, bro, bro. <laughs> um can, he's Canadian. And uh and he's like, um, it's gonna be fine. And then they get poltergeist again, dude. <laughs> For the hundredth time. So what happens is here's the thing. They say, oh, these, both these, at the end, you find out that these, both these uh, species of aliens Mm -hmm. are really low tech. Yes. Because one, one photon torpedo could have like devastated them, right? Yes. Right. Then how the fuck do they have this fucking weapon? It's just a different form of technology they pursued over military weapons. Okay. That's how I take it. Now I'm going to say this, dude. This is an insanely fucking crazy fucking weapon, dude. It is. It, very, this is this is what is. it did, dude. It it went into the computers and it selectively wiped out certain things and it added a personnel file in there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. One. And then two. And, uh, yeah. It it deleted certain files forever and it kept some yes. just enough mm-hmm. for them to, to for him to mani- manipulate the the ship. Mm-hmm. It deleted everybody's memory. By even not data. enough to do their memory, not to do their jobs. Yeah, yeah. even data. He, he did, even he data. The memory who, of a who goddamn other people cyborg, don't know dude. how to deal with. Yeah. in terms of their brain and data's brain. This yeah. is insane, dude. This is this is like a world class fucking war crime, dude. <laughs> so no, that's not the only war crime. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that too. Oh, literally, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, so yeah. usually I tend to, so I, I kind of follow, um, so so this is, this is a bit of a setup, but a long time ago, back when Pixar was good, Pixar released a list of, like, uh, guidelines uh, for storytelling. Spoiler alert, they, they've never been good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They, they released a, a list of guidelines for, or for storytelling. And one of which I, I strongly agree with, one of which is coincidences can start a plot, but coincidence, coincidences shouldn't resolve a plot. So Fair. to me, this is like, so, it's so not believable that a weapon like this sophisticated could really exist, but it's really for the purposes of getting the plot going. So I'm willing yeah. to give it a pass because I'm like, oh, it's, it's setting up a really neat premise uh, of yeah, yeah. Every, yeah, so I, I'm I'm kind of okay with it personally, at least. Um, but that's just me. Okay, so so they have this this amazing futuristic weapon that yes. that's just like ahead of its time. They don't even know what happened. They don't even know how they used that on them, and they killed them. So they don't know anything. They this episode is it ends and you don't know shit, dude. And they don't know shit. And 
this is what the problem with the ship is, dude. And this crew, dude. This should be they should be court martialed, dude. Immediately. <laughs> But here we go. They get zapped, and immediately all their their memories start going, and then data starts fucking skipping, like like an old fucking CD player from the yeah, early nineties. That's an interesting effect for data. Where <laughs> yeah. I, look, I thought because I don't remember this episode very well, so I thought for a second was was like, is that did like a lore protocol get activated in d- data at yeah. that point? Because he seems to talk different, but I guess it was just like a weird record skipping moment or something. Yeah, and then no one knows what's up. Everyone, everyone. So, but it doesn't affect how they do their jobs they know how to do their jobs they just don't know yeah who they are who they are what or what really what they did and which is incredibly selective like if if you if anyone has like any inkling of how the the mind works you can't really separate out skills from personal memories that way so this would be like an impossibly specifically good this is like the lawnmower man dude coming in here and wiping people's brains dude (laughs) I will say I do love the talking about a from a cinem- cinematography standpoint. I love the handheld switch, yeah, the that was handheld cool. camera switch. Oh yeah, yeah. When yeah. it gets to everyone's memory being lost, it's like all of a sudden we rarely get these like handheld shaky shots. Everything's floating. It's Everything's like, a good, like yeah. it's yeah. very clearly like I don't know. I I loved. It's very clearly handheld and very different from standard Star Trek shooting style so i really did like that effect i felt it it worked really well yeah it's yeah, good yeah. and disorienting yeah. yeah it's very disorienting because you don't see it in the show a lot yeah. and it's it's fun yeah they did a really good blocking and like and uh camera especially when they first here. introduced the mcduff <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. he's just in <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, isn't his name uh, McGruff? The f- crap <laughs> um, his name is Duff Man. Duff, uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, Duffy. Uh, no, actually, his name is K- Commander Kieran McDuff. Oh, oh it is, is it? McDuff. Oh. Oh. I knew oh, Duff I was in it. Like, oh, okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, fuck all you. Ma- all their memories. Are, <laughs> his name's hilarious memories, on purpose. All their names. All their all their all their uh, memories are are erased, and they're like, "Oh, what the fuck happened?" And then this one dude shows up out of nowhere. He's like, "Yeah, what happened?" <laughs> dude, all our, all our memories are erased. He's like, oh, that's "It crazy. is crazy." He yeah. just shows up, <laughs> and then nobody knows. It's funny because like they should know their ranks. Cause it's in their goddamn collars, but, but like Picard's like not in charge. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like, it's like, that's a minor uh, plot hole where th- they should be discerning. Cause th- if they have their skills retained, yeah, they should they understand should be able to that tell. the red shirts with the pit. Well, they do because actually Riker or somebody says to Picard, well, you must be in charge. You have a lot of like pins. I think, no, I think he said he's in charge because of his attitude. Or, I think they were no, like, no, he literally points to his, Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He points oh, okay. to the colors. Okay. Okay. And he says, okay. well, you have all those. So you must be like, in a oh, <laughs> and that's when you get the great war form moment where he's like, well, I have a sash. Yeah. So. He's like, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Like, well, Worf's, yeah. yeah Worf's like, I have all of this. I, I must be the leader of the ship. <laughs> yeah. And he starts really oh, barking God. orders, dude. He's like, oh, oh dude, man. And do Dude, that. Worf, it's, it's, it's in this really episode, fun when- <laughs> if I had to give an award to best actor, best character in this episode, it's Worf. And yeah, down. he's yeah. by far the funniest in the episode yeah. for sure. And, yeah. and he starts barking so orders, good. and then when when he realizes he's not the captain, he's like, "Oh, I apologize. How about how, how, how <laughs> people?" But well, the best like, part is when yeah, they, like, they're yeah, reading yeah. out everyone's like uh, roles, right? It's like Picard, yeah. Captain. Riker, Commander, Worf, Security Chief, <laughs> and Worf like rolls his eyes and goes, "Oh!" And the background, I'm a you just see him go, guard. "Oh shit!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't. I I really I really thought this was well done, but um, I liked Worf the best personally. He was so good. I uh, the uh, not Diana uh, the Beverly. It was treating this gymnastic lady or swimmer. Oh my god! And then she loses her memory, and I th- and I'm a first split second. I was like, "Who? I wonder oh, if this no. will make her a better fucking doctor and not a killer." You know, the show forgets she's a killer because she for- did, or she forgets. You know, those to kill. There, no, yeah. there is her there, prime there directive is, of killing. There is the, the there is the uh, the risk. That because she forgot her personality, she forgot to learn how to suppress her intent to kill. So oh, she starts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the dark urge returns. Yeah, the dark yeah. passenger. The, du- the dark hado of Beverly Crusher rises. Uh, oh, no. So <laughs> I, when we were watching this episode, Marvin kind of said that this episode we were both talking, 
And we felt that this episode is a good example of what would happen if everyone's just kind of personalities took over and settled into the roles that they like personally felt they were settled into or wanted because it's like everyone kind of started even and we weren't sure. And it's like, you kind of see where people fall, I guess. Yeah. Because they don't, because they get rid of memories, but personalities are intact. So like Worf is like all of a sudden stepping up to be a leader. And then you see like Picard, he kind of is a leader, but then he's also like sitting at the, at the engineering he's willing thing, to acquiesce a lot. Picard's very things. like willing like, to be more like, than anything. Oh, he's a diplomat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's very he's diplomatic. He's very diplomatic, yeah. and that shows. But then you see, yeah, you see. Riker's um, assertive. He's the yeah. one who's like, okay, I'm uh-huh. going to go out and start and doing. And he's stuff, also having you know, like, sex like 90 percent of the time. Right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, you see, <laughs> like his, his, his base, his prime directive uh, of his brain is to just bone. <laughs> he's yeah, just like, yeah. you know what? I don't care what's going on. I'm going to have sex 90 percent of the time. And Jordy yeah. instantly goes to a computer and is like, oh, computer. Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was super interesting to see, like, you cut to the shot and then, you know, you see Worf sitting in the captain's chair being like, this is nice, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and oh, Data, man, Worf in the Data. captain's chair looks really weird and funny. And There's Data, something about Data, it. Data is a natural born bartender. Yeah, yeah. Data is a natural born bartender yeah. Data, serving lots Data's, of people. Data's uh, core, core personality is that he just wants to work at a bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's why yeah, he, that's what he always lol. wanted. It's why he said lol to the bar because he was like, yeah. Yes. He's, 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 he's the parent pushing their kid to do what they never could do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You cracked the code, Marvin. And I, I guess Beverly is like, well, I'll help you. I somehow am doing something helpful. And I guess I'll your just arm, stay a doctor. Lady. Beverly is the least changed out of everyone. She yeah. is just exactly what she always is. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which means she doesn't have any actual memories in real life. That's <laughs> <laughs> so use this healing gun. <laughs> so yeah, it's li- so, they just use healing guns. That's how Star Trek yeah. works. <laughs> so the MacGuffin he guy, it, here. <laughs> he really, he really like pushes his weight around. Like he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, like we got to do this. Mm-hmm. Like he's really like, he's not. He doesn't immediately go to like, oh, I'm in charge, but he goes to like influencing people. And, and immediately you're like, this guy's, this guy's a bad guy, dude. I mean, yeah. first of all, he, he came out of nowhere, and yeah. second of all, he's an idiot, dude. I and like how the show can't resist the the sly smile because their plan like three works times. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like three different times where it keeps zooming in on him and he's like, mm-hmm, it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like we get it. He's the bad I think guy. We, we could have done without those, probably. <laughs> so so they start they start trying to figure things out and then so like they're trying to figure out like what they can do to get their memory back, and everyone realizes that like they got the scramble binds. So Riker <laughs> and Roe go down with Jordy to to go down to see what's up and maybe survey people and see if anybody remembers anything. But no one right. does, and Jordy keeps at it, and it, it, Beverly wants to figure out like what they can do to like zap their brains and and bring back their memories. And stupid Mac- MacGuffin is he's like he's in every he, like. Just butts into everything, dude. And I hate him, dude. I'm glad he dies, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm glad they didn't capture him. Like, just fucking kill him, dude. Is he dead? Did they yeah, kill him? He's yeah, dead. yeah, he's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, I didn't realize. They well, they didn't him. show him in a brig or anything. They just zap him. Nah. He falls. And well, think about it, dude. Him. Think about they it. This makes sense. They leave him alive. Oh. The, 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 inter- not the Enterprise, um, Starfleet, like Starfleet. They, they interview him and he's like, it was easy. It was easy. I just put in a fucking a uh, little little software. It deleted things and added me as a personnel. <laughs> it added it added a whole mission where like they couldn't <laughs> contact they couldn't contact Starfleet. Oh yeah, it was a silent so that's, mission. That's one of the things that they discover is that he. That's one of the things they implanted is that they they faked the the mission of the Enterprise to be they are in a war. They cannot send any subspace transmissions because that would give away their position, and they need to destroy this Elysian base. And yeah, right. that's that's the this now is like they the all hun- think that's the hunt for but October, their dude. enemy is like very defenseless and yeah. eons yes. behind them in technology they have, so the they war doesn't shots. make sense yeah yeah yes. they have like sticks and slingshots and yeah. you know. also they should have realized yeah, very that advanced yeah. looking science base yeah that exactly. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well it's it looks advanced because that's actually a model reuse do you guys remember the justice episode with wesley when he fell on the flower bed yeah mm-hmm. and there was like a like an invisible god spaceship 
That was no. okay. I was about to ask, is it, was it the weird like, yeah, it was being that. in the sky that cared they, they about reuse, the little, they reuse the little that ship. people? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why it looks so advanced. Uh, but other than that. I don't that, remember that at all. I mean, shouldn't that, have put up, <laughs> shouldn't that have put up a bunch of red flags? Like, why are we fighting these? Well, yeah, well, they did. didn't. Picard they did. responded yeah. to them. It did. He, no, he did, say that. Enough, they did uh, say no, that. No, but enough to not proceed. At all. Well, no, because they had with orders, any? and you had broccoli. They had orders. McGruff, sure. yeah. Mm, I wouldn't I think, you're dealing I think, with military. <laughs> yeah. Another yeah, red flag should have been it. the fact that they're we're like, working hey. at an Apple store, Sarah. We're working at a fucking, <laughs> you know, working in fucking, we're working in a submarine, basically. Yeah. This, is like, this is like flag, the hunt for I Red October. It, <laughs> it should have been that, That's like, why you'd be court-martialed immediately. <laughs> I would be. That's true. I couldn't be. That's why I'm not in the military, because I'd be yeah. like, fuck you. I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound right. Well, they should have also been like, Hey, there's a lot of women and children, like civilian people on board, and there's like a school, and there's like like an arboretum. This doesn't seem like a war vessel. Why? <laughs> well, we are armed with phasers yeah. and torpedoes. So let's shoot them. And Worf is very <laughs> pleased about that. Yeah. <laughs> Why is yeah. there a bar on a warship? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is. Yeah, I this mean, is- and to be fair, Picard does throw up red flags, like you say. I just think because they did attack one or two. It did attack them. Before. That's it why just, it, they, they, they fought yeah, back. Yeah. It attacked yeah. them because they didn't respond to the hails. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Hail Mary, uh, full of grace. Uh, so, so Picard's like, we got to figure this thing out. Let's do this, this, and that. And he's 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 on the comms as well because he he thinks he's a he's a minion. Um, and so he's doing that. And then um, uh, Row and 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 what's his face are serving people. And okay. then this is where the the flirting starts, dude. It, they're in the hallway, mm-hmm. and they're like they're like um. I forgot what, what did she say? Hold on, I'm she's, right like, she's excited to be on oh, yeah. the thing with him. This feels like real chemistry. Yeah, unlike yeah, with she's the, like really coming on to Riker. It feels a, a little. They have chemistry. Weighted. The actors do for sure. Yeah, that's. It feels I mean, like they're they both. They're both sexy. You can even see Riker blushing a little bit in this. Right, <laughs> and, and I guess maybe the thing is like I'm not since it's a bigger change in character for Roe, and we've already seen Riker enamored before. Like mm-hmm. it's it's more striking in my mind that Ro is like, wow, look at her being so chipper and and nice, ready, yeah, like ready to associate with people. She's and, like smiling and happy and, and like, flirty and everything. It's yeah, like yeah. it's weird. Will, Will, Will has to balance two two, two girls. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah, it's that like, becomes the the one. I of got the, one over here, and I got one over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Classic and, nice and, plot. And, and Ro, these ladies Ro, are fighting over me. Rose, like, what do you think you'd be doing if you if you weren't doing the stupid survey he's like probably hanging out in that holodeck back there and he's like oh, i think i think i think we could find a better way to have fun yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. Oh. um well she's like, like you don't look like the, you, you didn't one. look like the kind of guy who would need a holodeck yeah well, yeah yeah you know what she meant and it then so they like go, it, it, it this implies that if ro didn't have all the trauma she, yeah. she might just have a personality kind of like Riker because they, yeah, they yeah, otherwise yeah. mesh together really well. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and they go, cool. they, they go to the bar and, and they go and fucking, they go to data and he's like, you've always been here, Mr. Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> and they freak out. Um, I love that. He like is crouching below the bar until someone needs him. <laughs> then he like lifts up. <laughs> yeah. That's kind oh. of why he, he really kind of, like, I had that shining vibe too a little bit when he oh. popped up and, I forgot. I forgot to mention this. So I was watching mm-hmm. Blade that just came mm-hmm. out in 4K. Oh, okay. 4K Blade. Yeah, and I forgot. I was listening to one of the commentaries, and they were talking about. Uh, they were talking about one of the posters in Blade is from Star Trek TNG, like one of the, from the first season. What? Oh, so really? there's, okay. there's a poster about about a boxing match in Blade, and mm-hmm. it's the same poster. That's in the fir- one of the first uh, seasons episodes of Star, of oh, Star Trek, okay. which means Boxing. that Blade and Star Trek are in the same universe. Yes, eventually. confirmed. Yeah, right. What? It's, it's it's also why Wesley Snipes could be a captain. Like right. Blade could Ooh. Blade is immortal. He could live on. What? In fact, a Wesley cat. Crusher is named after Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. the great Wesley Snipes. Oh, so, because Blade. because Blade is also known as Wesley Snipes in the universe of Blade. <laughs> Oh my God. It's also why yeah. we, like Wesley got in trouble for not paying taxes. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to pay taxes. I'm a fictional character. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to pay taxes. I'm, I'm a, a vampire. I'm, a, yeah. I'm an ensign. <laughs> uh, and so, and so data's like, Hey, I don't, I don't have a database. They got wiped. That's how sophisticated <laughs> these guys are. 
and he, they go to Deanna and she's like, I don't know anything. And and we're like, clearly, <laughs> clearly you don't know shit, dude. And she's like, but something makes me think that I, that I, that I have superpowers and like, I know things, I can feel things. And I'm like, no, your superpowers never work, dude. Just shut up, dude. And yeah. guess what? They never work. They never help them do anything on this fucking mission. It's so close to mattering in this episode, but it doesn't. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. All she does it's, is like, like it amounts like you, to someone just like, I'm like a total empath. So yeah. 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 <laughs> She's like, look, all I could say is that Mercury's in retrograde, and that's probably why we don't remember. <laughs> so, and then she uh, says, I think we're like really good friends. She tells me that. It's like, why do you get to say that about anybody? What are you talking about? I, I, I feel like your face is friendly, and I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't like. Familiar. I yeah. don't like. I don't like. Look, oh, I hate to talk shit about Deanna. Because. <laughs> Because it just that's that, it's her true. fault, dude. It's her fault. She, she doesn't. It's her fault. She's fucking useless, dude. And like, I, I, she. Why? Why are we? Why? Why does she have this job still, dude? She constantly fails, dude. She constantly fails at her job, and 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 uh, she's constantly bad, bad at her job. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, dude. To the level that no one else is, though. Like, yeah, you, you yeah. Think it's well, everyone well, else on well, the crew. Well, okay, hold on. Hold on. Well, yeah, I Beverly. Yeah, I think of Beverly's person, a killer. Yeah. Yeah, unless unless her job is killing, then yeah, she's good at her yeah. job. <laughs> um, but here's yeah. the thing: is that like she's one step away from going like, oh, just just let me let me rub these crystals. And an egg over you, and we'll get this fixed. Like <laughs> an egg, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it has, just, I, I, just put I this egg it. up your vagina, and it'll yeah, be okay. yeah, yeah. Smells like this goop. candle that okay. smells like my vagina. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I, I, every episode that goes by, I want to like her more, and I want her to use her powers. But every episode, she disappoints me, dude. <laughs> there better yeah. be an episode where, like, she totally redeems herself. There better be an episode like that. To be fair, she, I, I feel like she did kind of redeem herself in the violations episode where she beat the crap out of that guy. I thought that was pretty uh, I mean, yes, but, but she didn't use her powers. As a, no, yeah, that, that was didn't her use her powers. Yeah, that was just yeah. a being a normal human being. Yeah. Who, like, who's angry. Not, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not, true. We're um, talking about so, the context of work. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I know so, we'd work. So they finally, <laughs> yeah. they finally unlock, unlock just, the files. You just want her to become a better employee again. And I did. Jordy, yeah. Jordy unlocks the files and he's like, okay, Picard's captain. Got it. Awesome, and he's like, "All right, we have second, second in command, uh, Officer McGruff." Um, <laughs> and and he's like, and McGruff's like, "Yeah, dude, second in command. I always knew it." And he's like, "Why didn't he just make himself the captain if he couldn't?" Just no, change no, because because he, he he could he, add a file. He just can't alter them. Like, no, no, right? no, this makes sense, dude, because he oh. he that way he has them to blame. If he was in yeah, charge, then I think he, he wanted would be the alien I think who he did wanted, it. I think he wanted the Enterprise to be uh, blamed, blamed for all. Oh, of it. Yeah. okay. To take. I yeah. uh, got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So and then and then they realize who the, everybody is, and it's like, okay, you're this. Data's is, and so everyone starts. They 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 go to the meeting room again. They could have done it in the fucking the bridge, but they're like, oh, we'll have a meeting. I hate <laughs> this dude. Fucking I conference hate room. this dude. Yeah. Like it's just because we have a conference conference room doesn't mean we have to book it every time dude we can yeah. just do it in, there's no one here at, yeah let's just meet at steve's office and he yeah. has a big office well we'll, just to be all fair, meet there. The, well they the, need he, a big enough table for pizza yeah, yeah. that's true one, one it's a it's they're not meetings or pizza parties and yeah. two he jordy had a whole presentation he had a whole powerpoint he needed to show on a screen he so, could have yeah. sh- shown it in any screen dude <laughs> he in fact he could have shown it in this in the big ass fucking screen we, yeah. Where the, the the screen that becomes a, a view uh, window. Oh yeah, the, yeah. It's it's way bigger, dude. Yeah, um. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, hey, so this is our mission. We can't call for help, and like we got to do this and that. And he's like, what do you do? And he's like, McGruff is like, yeah, we got to do it. We got to do it. We got to go kill these fools. We got to snuff them out, kill them, and then again, this this was her time to shine, dude. This was her time for Deanna to go. This guy's gave me creepy vibes, dude. I don't yeah. think he's part yeah. of our crew. Yeah. She didn't really like. She didn't I, pick up on that at all with him. I like, kind of wish that's what what was going to be part of the resolution is that she goes out of everyone here. You're acting the strangest. And yes. I don't know why. Or you're the but, only one yeah. who's sure of himself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Because like different. the only emotion she should be feeling from everyone is fucking confusion. Yes. Here's but you're, thing, not, you're not actually confused. Yeah. That's very odd. Also, you know, or, she should have. She should have felt like. Oh, I feel like I have memories with you, Riker. Cool. 
Boom, check. I feel like I have memories with you, uh, Beverly, because we've scissored. Boom. <laughs> I, I feel like Captain Picard, you have been like a really good mentor to me and like uh, like almost like a father figure. Boom. I have, okay. Worf, we've had some deep one-on-ones, dude, uh, yeah. about you, you know, about your youth. Boom. A data, I just beat you at chest. I, I will never forget that, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. You yeah. never forget when you beat a cyborg at fucking chess. No, uh, and he's like, do. boom, done. And then you, uh, McGruff, you've never talked to me about drugs or yeah. forest fires. So <laughs> yeah. it feels weird. Mm-hmm. Um, I have no idea who you are. Yeah. Exactly. I have no she idea who you are. She should have been able to be more helpful <laughs> yeah. in this case. Or they could have written something in where she's like, oh, I don't know. He gives me a weird vibe, dude. And, and then, you know who else somebody might could have, have been, also- Somebody could have been like, maybe you dated him. That's what you feel. Hey, 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 wait. I just realized something. You know who else should have probably been able to notice something? Jordy. Ooh. Because of his visor? Oh, shit. Yeah, his visor could look at him and be like, you're- There must be something fucking Mm. weird up with what this guy was doing. Because shooting him with a phaser, like, turned him into, like, some weird other thing. Oh, yeah. He was, like, wearing, like, a- He was was wearing, like, a mask. Yeah. He was a Maglian. Another example of amazing technology that they have. Yeah. Yeah. He was was disguising as a human. He was some kind of of weird alien. If they only- If they- If no- Everyone had found this out earlier, they- That- poor ship could have lived but no yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one cares about that ship they no, do no. at the end they go we feel very regretful yeah, <laughs> that, like, that we sorry. killed a lot of people i'm so sorry i'm so sorry S- but we didn't kill fifteen thousand people yeah you know just 54 so, yeah. <laughs> so um he he uh Riker walks um deanna to her room and he's like oh she's like i feel like we we're friends dude and he's like all right uh, see you later, dude. And then Riker goes to his room, and guess who's waiting there, dude? Oh yeah, mm. boom, bro, mm. dude. Sexy. And she's man. like, she's like, I feel she's like she's assertive she's, as fuck, dude. Oh yeah, like, she I, sure I, is. I like her style, dude. And I'm she's not even like, sure Riker would be that daring. No, no, like, no Riker no, would dude. definitely be like gentlemanly and visit them. Yes, yes. I was like, he I'm would, invading he, your room. He, he, well, he, I, I think Riker, it's different when Riker a, would come when a lady does it. He'd be a caller. He'd be a gentleman caller. It's a little, it's a little different. I'd be pretty startled to be honest. I'd be like, oh god, what are you doing here? Riker would be like, what if it's someone you had a crush on though? Me, I visit your domicile. Still yeah. a little bit. I still be like, how'd you get in here? <laughs> yeah. And did you, did you, did you touch that video? Did you see my harp ladies? Um, and so she's behind like, that bookshelf. yeah, she, she's like, I feel like I spend most of my time in this fucking room. And he's like, really? And Riker's into it, dude. He's got a big old oh, smile. Riker's, dude. Oh, Riker's yeah. like, fuck He's yeah, like, I'm really? into this. Yeah. Uh, he, he also I, I starts love talking Jonathan like, Frakes' like, I'm horny expression. Like, yeah, he, has a, <laughs> you know? he has an interesting, like, little smirk that he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's like cute. A good, it's yeah. cute. It's the visage of someone who's having the time of his life. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's always and so happy. He's thinking and, to myself, God damn, I love this fucking job. <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's that shit eating grin. Yeah, yeah, the flirting, yeah. The flirting's funny because she, uh, she's like, he says something and like, and she's like, what do you mean? How do you know I'm going to stay? And then, and then, she, and then she's he like, says, I just like, like the way your quarters look. I don't like, yeah, my yeah. And then, and then he says, oh, what if I snore? And she's like, who says we're going to do any fucking sleeping? <laughs> and oh, then, you know so what happens, sexy. dude. Every, yeah. All the listeners have been to Pornhub, dude. Yeah. If you haven't, you should, dude. Oh, her, really, dress. her dress <laughs> yeah. is, her dress Ricardo is super cute. recommended. Yeah, I recommended yeah. it. Her dress um, is super cute. And she's got like these red leggings on. It's very cute. Yeah. It's a very and, cute outfit. And so after this is where they blow up that ship, the innocent ship, dude. They're a goddamn war crime. He looks people. so suspicious, Macduff, on the bridge. Yeah. He's like sitting in like this crouched sitting pose with his hands together. And he's like, oh, <laughs> and, I hope this and, plan goes so well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like almost like this. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all yeah, going think, to plan. I think it's working, but I hope we and, get there. You know, like. <laughs> and I know this guy, dude. I know this guy. This guy is an instigator. And I've punched this guy in the face, dude. Because he's the type of guy who is like, like, who's like oh tim said this dude and you're yeah. like so i don't give a shit he's like he, he, he says you're a bitch dude and he's like okay i don't care and then, and then and then he's like oh tim's right here i brought him i brought him over yeah, yeah. And, he's, and, he's, and he's like tim ricardo says he fucking stands up and starts yeah. activating the guns on his own no one told yeah, him so. dude. yeah <laughs> Yeah, and he's like yelling, like he's, ca- he's captain, like, he's the like, captain's like, unwell. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, no, no. This, this is this is this, this is before, before that. that. This yeah, is this that. is the first oh, time. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, captain. That's our mission. We got to do that, dude. Yeah, you know them, dude. They're pieces of shit, dude. We got to destroy. Them. <laughs> and yeah. so they they fucking blow them up, dude. They blow them up, and they won't. If they had just been like, they're hailing us. Let's fucking take this FaceTime call. 
everything would have been solved. There'd have been like, yeah. dude, McGruff, he's no fucking crime fighting dog, dude. He's a bitch ass fucking he's lizard, no dude. His real, li- his real he's last a fucking name lizard. sounds like <laughs> his, his last name sounds a lot like lizard. Um, <laughs> And they call him I like the to lizard man. He's a, he's a space lizard of some kind. Um. So then they they start doing more research and and fucking data's fucking. He's using his fingies, dude. He's a real finger banger, dude. Uh. He's punching all these numbers into the computer, dude. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jordy's is fucking impressed. He's like, "Look at those fingers, go, dude." <laughs> um. And and then uh, it's like. <laughs> It almost has like uh, this look of like I wish she's using those fingers on me. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, not in a sexual way. Like oh, like what, imagine a massage. That yeah, fast, oh, that'd yeah, be yeah, great. yeah. Oh, Data would um, be an amazing be masseuse. Oh yeah. my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would be great. And then uh, Deanna goes to Riker's quarters, and he's like, oh, I feel, I feel a thing, dude. Like I don't know what it is, dude. Maybe you, like you killed me in another life. I don't know, dude. My crystals are not working in the best <laughs> ability. <laughs> And he's like, he's like, what are you feeling, baby? And she's like, um, I don't know, dude. And then they're about to kiss, dude. Well, she, about she, to kiss. Oh, she finds a book. the book. Yeah. yeah. There's like a book that was a gift from her to him. And she's like, oh, I guess I like you. And it says like, oh, to William with love or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah. wishes. It's a little, yeah. it's a little yeah. romantic. And yeah, so yeah. They're like, oh. And there's and, also and, a callback and, to the Horgon from Ryza. Yeah. He's oh, like, yes. Yeah, yes. Ryza. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> the, the part yeah. where he's like, well, I guess I can play the trombone. I come from a place called Alaska <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I like to take vacations at this planet called Risa as he's holding the Horcon. <laughs> yeah. And, and he, he plays a little tune. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's good to know that like like uh, Jonathan Frakes just actually enjoys the trombone. Yeah, it is. Really- <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then and then as if they're about to kiss, dude, they're getting really close. Fucking his 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 real dude. His side I, piece. I, I, is that? Do you call them shipping when you want to like people to hook up? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I ship yep. them, dude. I ship bro, them bro, too. fuck Deanna, dude. I'm, I'm all I'm all Ooh, about. Bro. We have a potential for uh, a triangle yeah. here. No, no, no triangle. Kind. Just bro. And, and Riker, she just get that Deanna out of the dude. way. Yeah. Get Rowan there. Fire her, I mean, they do seem to like you know fit each other very well. They, they, yeah, dude. Get T bag back other. here. Get T bag. And they and seem like uh, Row and Riker seem like they have really exciting sex. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Or Ro- broccoli Rob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deanna could could go hook up with broccoli Rob. It's like they have that sex where it's like I hate you, but like also want to rip your clothes off type. You know, like, <laughs> that's the vibe I get. I feel like that'll um, happen afterward. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it will because uh, like, yeah, I, it didn't they, start there because I don't think they necessarily hated each other like yeah, post amnesia, yeah. but like no post amnesia. I mean, they they had like a rocky. That was the basis of their relationship before this memory loss. Was like they were kind of like salty weird with each other they were and weird then, like, it, was just, it was a lot of tension yeah like tension but then but you know when they why. get their memory back yeah because they want to have sex and they do and yeah. then it's like oh well you know that's that's weird if you remember that after the fact which we'll um, there, you know what'd be cool yeah. you know what'd be funny dude if if this lizard guy was played by Sasha Baron Cohen and Borat, <laughs> <laughs> Borat voice. he's like well, well, we were captain <laughs> <laughs> it's just like clearly wrong. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> he, like, like he totally like just hit the wrong kind of thing. Like he's like, he's like I hit the wrong kind of like like vibe, dude. But, but he but watched like, the wrong I, movie to prepare yeah. to speak like a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he watched like a Neil Breen movie, or he watched fucking the room. And he's and he got goes, a, I he's don't got know, Captain. It, dude. I don't think we should be her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he shows up um, in a Galaxy Quest uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh um, man! And so Beverly's like, I figured it out. I figured out how to do this, and but it's dangerous. And fucking the aliens like, oh, I'll vol- I volunteer as tribute. And then I'm they, all they, right away. Yeah, oh, they, suspicious. Very yeah. suspicious. You know, you know what's crazy? The laser that's over his head, kind of the, the little panel on it. It looks like an iPhone, kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it they does. have like iPhones on the tables during their meeting yeah. too. They have like little iPhones. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think okay, he's going through this medical experiment thing. Why are none of these devices able to pick up? Like, hey, this is a lizard guy. Like, <laughs> I don't know, right? Guy? They are yeah. scanning he's not him. A human. Like, yeah, they're that's scanning technology him that they have has created an entire reality that like conceals them. 
But I don't then understand. when he's hit with a phaser, he turn he flashes into is it, his is real it because being? like the hacking is so sophisticated? They even hacked the medical equipment. Yeah, yeah. we can only assume back. that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's how smart these guys are. These lizard people, yeah. dude, kind of like like our people in Congress. Um, God don't damn give them that much credit. Fucking then. turtles, Ricardo, dude. That's also, why would she <laughs> only try brains. it on? Why would she only try it on one person and then be like, ah, I guess it doesn't work? I'm like, that's it's not too very dangerous. It's too, well, because well, two people. Would be too much. Beverly loves to kill Josh. <laughs> um, so then they tried on him and he's like, oh, it didn't work, but it hurts like hell, dude. My butthole hurts for some reason. And they're like, well, I mean, why? And he's like, I don't try it on anybody else, dude, because I don't want their butthole. I to guarantee hurt. you, you, you should not really. try this on anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And and so he's, so he, Picard's like, this doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. This is bullshit, dude. Like, why would we do this? Yeah, he calls him in to have sense. a meeting with, yeah, because he perceives him to be his, his second in command. Yeah. So he goes, I feel like we've been handed a weapon and told to shoot a stranger in a room and there is no moral grounding for this and I can't do it. And then the guy pretends to keep agreeing. He's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Anyway, but, we but should shoot everybody. Really we, should, we should follow orders though. And then <laughs> yeah. he, goes, he goes to Worf's. He goes to Worf's room and he's like, dude, Captain's been talking shit about you, dude. He says your forehead mm. looks funny, dude. He says your haircut <laughs> looks funny as shit, dude. And, and your he sash says, looks girly. Your sash, your yeah. sash dude. Remember shit, when you dude. were captain? I, I yeah. like that way better back when you were yeah, captain. I yeah. feel like you should. He's like, you know what? Again. Your colors, the colors on your uniform, make your eyes pop, dude. And he said, you ain't shit. That <laughs> verbatim quoting. He said mm-hmm. that wharf dude. He ain't shit. He didn't say yep. he isn't. He said he ain't. Uh, <laughs> Yep. And he said, and then he said, bleed at. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's some sort of Klingon word, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And then, it, so basically, the, the, they run into the, the ship that they're supposed to blow up. And, and then they're like, they're like, um. So the, the sequence where they're, they're going past all the little drones. <laughs> what happened, Dan? <laughs> you said. I just remembered how later in the episode, McDuff literally says, belay that. (laughs) (laughs) Belay that. (laughs) Belay that. (laughs) Belay that. Belay that. (laughs) He does indeed say belay that. Yeah. So so they get to the science station and they're like, we're supposed to blow this thing. It's beautiful, dude. Well, they well they go past all the drones first. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And those drones that that the the VFX for that looks really good, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. I remember thinking like, wow, they really upped their budget for this, yeah. this quick space and, fight. And, yeah. and McGruff is like, We gotta shoot these fuckers, we gotta shoot that. And then and then he's like, he's like, No, stop that. Don't don't do that. And he's like, believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he says he gets really upset. He's like, "Oh, yeah. there's something wrong with the captain." Yeah. Like he cannot. Because Riker yeah. is like, "He's well, not in his right mind." Just one or torpedo, whatever. one photon torpedo will blow this whole station up, and then yeah. everyone's like, "That's weird." <laughs> yeah. And, and, well, that and, doesn't and, seem fair. Yeah, and then McGruff's like, "He's he's not fit to to command." Bleed out. How could how could uh, we be in a war with people this this dumb poor? this dumb dude? <laughs> and he's he's like basically like this is a fucking library, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why have we been sent to to yeah. blow up an arboretum? I yeah. don't understand. Yeah. And, 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 he, and they're like, they're like, McGruff, do you just owe so many fucking late fees on your books? <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather blow this Is ship this a up ploy? than pay you fuckers any fucking late fees. Is this a ploy to get out of your student loans? Is yeah, this yeah, is yeah. this is this oh, discover if so, loans? I support that. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't blow up a, a library because of your student loans, dude. No, this um, is the, no not the library. I, I thought no. maybe the student loan service. This is the and, student loan house. And, yeah. and <laughs> yeah, the fucking, one house with all of the loans in it. Yeah. He, he That's how it worked in GoldenEye. That was the plot space. of GoldenEye. This, all of the world's financial data is somehow in one spot. So if we just fire at that one spot. <laughs> We'll start from scratch somehow. Dude, oh, I didn't know that's what it was about. I've never seen Goldeneye. That's dumb as fuck. <laughs> this this lizard guy pushes yeah. pushes uh uh Worf. Yes. And he's so strong, dude. He just bitch yeah. him, dude. Well, because Worf is again. He's trying to God get Worf it. to like do it. And Worf is like, yeah, no. 
But I how does he yeah. have that strength to push Worf like well, that? Well, he's got a he's, lizard. He's, he's, he's a he's lizard like, monster. He pushes him why. like he's a rag doll. Like it was he's insane. a lizard monster. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Every and time so, Worf is punked, it's to demonstrate that the, the the attacking thing is very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's all and, it's for. Yeah, and and he sh- and then fucking Riker shoots him, and he's like, Ugh, must continue. And then fucking Worf shoots him, and they both shoot him, and boom, they fucking execute him, dude. And yeah, like, but even, him, I love the effect of him like flashing yeah. to his lizard form, you know, when they shoot him. And they're I love how like, they oh, don't let you the see fuck. all of it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you never yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. It looks fucking creepy though. He looks like some kind and of crypt keeper or something. I like, hate, yeah, I creepy. hate that they don't, they don't, freaky. they don't explain anything. They don't go, dude, bring them up, dude, bring them up. Tell them that 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 it was all a misunderstanding. Bring bring him up on screen. No, yeah. they immediately cut to fucking him drinking goddamn fucking no, tea. No, the he's tea. Like, <laughs> he's he like, looks, he like, looks like horrified. He's like, oh, we, we, That's we, how you he's know like, he's back, though. That's how you know like, that things are back to normal because he's, he's drinking like, oh, tea. Shit. No, but like, I felt I love that scene because he's like fucker. he's holding the tea, and I feel like he needs a blanket, and he's just like so traumatized <laughs> by everything. He's just like, he's oh like, god, he's like shaking slightly. Could have killed a million librarians in there. <laughs> um, and and uh, oh come on, Picard! It's not your first time being forced to kill people against your yeah, will. Dude. Yeah, it's true. You, you supported Wesley, dude, and he was to killed many people and yeah, fucking yeah. Beverly. And then so <laughs> Riker goes to the bar, and his both his ladies are there, and he's like, oh, and they're talking to each other, and he's they're like, oh t- shit, they're, saying, they're, they're, they're talking, talking shit about, about me. No, they're, they're spilling trading tea, notes. dude. They're spilling they both tea. Both seen my dick. Are they trying? <laughs> Yeah, and they're like, and well, he tried this move with me. Yeah, and they're like, oh wow, I didn't know he could do that. That's and then Rose cool. like, I was hoping to. He's like, you're not interrupting. I was hoping to talk to you, dude. And and then th- they both go sit down, and he's like, oh shit, dude, I'm in trouble, dude. <laughs> they know I've been double dipping, dude. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, but I thought, have. I thought if I chewed the double mint gum, it was cool and like too too. Long. <laughs> like, yeah. this commercial was way off, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he took the commercial to heart. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like double mint, double double the bang and double your um, or he was he he was just watching too many Mentos commercials and he's like, Yeah, I'll just do it. Now, later on he's in his yeah. quarters watching the commercial on the hollow screen's like, where did I go wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, let's see. How, studying how. it frame that by frame. So he's like, awesome. he's like, oh he's like, I figured it out. They're not twins. That's what it is. <laughs> if they were twins, they would have worked. Uh-huh. And so it's basically so awkward to sit down with like two women. I, that you're in an entanglement with uh and know? and uh he basically is like what who hmm? Ooh, and yeah. he, he oh. does this thing where like um <laughs> i'll do this anytime when I'm, I'm in an awkward situation you find something that it feels like he's almost gonna do this you do uh-huh. this dude like like say <laughs> like say you're you're like in a restaurant and you're in an awkward situation whether it's you <laughs> two ladies that, that you were with or like your friends are fighting you know in front right. of you you, mm-hmm. you start going like oh my god these forks yeah <laughs> are, are, are they are they all like four prongs or are they are like you yeah. know like you start looking at things to like comment on th- yeah. and not right. the problem at hand wow these cups uh, are completely yeah. circular they don't have those cups. wow how it looks like you're drinking the mary poppins medicine yeah girls. yeah like, how, do they, how do they make glass <laughs> you're like i wonder if this building is up to code and you start looking at like you're like yeah I mean, if it was built pre Where's the fire World exits? War II, we got. We should. We should figure out where the fire <laughs> yeah. exits are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, are they? I wonder. You think astrolades are relevant nowadays? Um, <laughs> What's the maximum <laughs> occupancy of this place? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's doing the same thing, but he's like, oh, like you could tell, he's like, he can't figure out what to talk about. Uh, but yeah, finally, yeah. Um, uh, Rose like, I'm gonna always. Re- what does he? What does she say? I'm always she's gonna like, remember. We this? both had an experience that I'll treasure forever. Yeah. Then, so she's excited about it. Yeah. She's she, like, I. She, so she's basically admitting that she had I've a kind of wanted to fuck you for a while. So that's yeah. That was great. She's like, she's like, truth be told, I didn't lose my memory. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, if we're yeah. all going to be honest out, here. It doesn't affect Bajorans. It's fine. That yeah. would have been a sick uh, twist almost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, they could have <laughs> done it. Like, they could have yeah. done it. That yeah. would have been interesting. She's like, yeah. now's my opportunity uh, to start over. She's uh, oh. And it turns out that Deanna Troy is fucking useless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Deanna's like, he's like, I think I'm confused. And he's like, well, if, you, if you're confused tomorrow, you know where my office is, dude. You fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> so I took end note to be I wonder how everyone else took it I took it as she feel is like it's really not open-ended. happy that she's not happy that she's I think, like I think, I think I she's think, I don't think she's like pissed at him but she's kind of just like really like 
like so based on like really you fuck she said it's like, smiling she said smiling though she didn't say no like, but she kind of like i don't know maybe it's maybe it's a girl thing the way she said it is her facial expressions to me like if i was sitting there just observing her and at that table mm-hmm. i would think like oh she's not pressed about it because she knows that they're not in a relationship, but she's definitely not happy about it. And she's kind of I like, think I think the <laughs> fact that Deanna has been cool with open relationship stuff between yes, them exactly. before makes it seem like she's actually saying, Well, I know you got your rocks off with Roe, but yeah. how about you try getting your rocks off with me again? Yes. That's yeah. how I took it. Because yeah. I how think many it's times, almost like how many it's times almost like have, Roe is telling yeah. her, I tried this on him and he really liked it. Maybe you could try that. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you could Here's the thing. Here, how many times has Deanna had like a suitor, like, oh, her her mom brings somebody who she's supposed to marry, or like Or like you, just a couple episodes ago, she like yeah, fucked that, so, that so, weird Nazi guy. So <laughs> That guy, right? Um, <laughs> I forget. That was that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Out of context, it sounds like she just fucked like Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing. This this is this is an open relationship, and she wasn't mad. She wasn't mad, or she wasn't. It was it was a it was a hey, um, c- cool that you had fun. Uh, here's uh, you know where I'm at. Uh, whatever, whatever you choose. And she just left. Um, I don't think she's mad. I don't think anything. Th- they they agreed to be in an open relationship. So unless she changes the rules, she's got to express that. She can't be fucking like, oh no, I'm mad. You should know why I'm mad. No, express your goddamn feelings or shut the fuck up. Um, Although she does say that, it does look sassy. And then Riker does have this like pouting look on his face. So yeah, I think but it I think is open. Still yeah, like Riker's reaction yeah. doesn't imply that. Oh, I can get lucky again tomorrow. No, yeah, I think yeah. I think that he's he's confused because he he might actually like Ro. Mm, mm. Ro, I, yeah. if I if I had a if I had a pick for Riker, I'd pick Ro. Cause yeah, Ro is de- definitely the more interesting for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and like the more compatible for yeah. him. But also the more the more inappropriate because she's an ensign under his direct command. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, yeah. Uh, where, you know, Deanna is com- in a completely different department. So Yeah, dude, know. if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give this, this was, this was fun, even though it was frustrating. It was funny and fun. Um, I'll give this a seven and a half. Okay. Okay. I'll give it a nine, actually. That, uh, that high, huh? Yeah, I actually found this episode really, really, really fun. You know what? Uh, I'm going to change my. I'm going to change my eight, eight. Yeah, eight, but but see, nine is like a, at an eight. Nine's a great thing, and then almost perfect, but a ten's perfect. So I'm going to go eight because it's like it's okay. like it's almost like perfect, but there's some things wrong with it. For me, yeah, it's almost a perfect because there's. I don't think there's a lot really. They have an I idea could do without the war crime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, you know, for from an audience perspective that raises the stakes, it means that they really could actually do some real damage. I love you know, steak. and this is dangerous. So I thought of it more of as like a oh shit, that something really actually happened. Uh oh. Okay. R- rather I would want more um addressing of the war crime. Yeah, instead of just the, the we send our deepest it's like, oh man, no, my bad. <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, I like the setup because it's uh, a little different from what they had done before. So before when they had a, like a memory wiped situation, you know, either with clues, you know, where it turns out only data knew or right. with, uh, what was the other one where, um, uh, Riker future imperfect. So he, his memory was gone, you know, right. Uh-huh. It was, it became more of a whodunit, right? So the audience doesn't know what's going on in the exact same way that the character doesn't know what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the mystery in this episode is a, is more of a Hitchcockian type of sus- suspense, and the way it's Hitchcock <laughs> and the way the way Hitchcock des- describes suspense is uh, well, well, a good example uh, f- from one of my favorite movie openings of all time, Touch of Evil, where you see the guy put the bomb right in the car, mm-hmm. and then there's this long shot of the audience knows the bombs on this car. We know it's going to go off at any moment. But the characters, everyone else in the scene does not. And the characters just keep going on with their scene. And the tension is from the fact that the audience knows and is telling, oh my God, guys, there's a bomb there. But no one else really knows, right? Yeah. And that's the tension. And that to me was kind of the tension of this episode is that you immediately know that this guy's out of place. Something's up with this guy. And right. the whole episode, you're kind of just going, uh, it's this guy. Uh, when are they going to figure it out? And you're kind of like hoping they figure it out. The main downside is that 
they keep going, aha, sly face. I'm the bad guy, like mm-hmm. a bunch of times, which really isn't necessary. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so I think there's there could be a bit more finesse. I think with that part of the episode, but other than that, I, I thought it was pretty pretty dang close to perfect. Uh, one one really funny thing I found because I, I was intrigued by the episode, so I started researching it more. So the guy at the end, he's identified as a member of the Satarans, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you go to the. I was like, okay, I'm going to poke around Memory Alpha. I'm going to look all around, do all that, and then this is obviously there's an article for Satarin, but the very last line of the article is just Satarans allegedly hate mysteries, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, that's <it. laughs> and that's it. So. <laughs> I don't know why. Is there that's, a cited source for that? Yeah, it's a it's, uh, episode is cited, but that's it. <laughs> huh, interesting. So, I wonder if that's like just a throwaway line from like Lower Decks or something. No, it's, it's from TNG, apparently. It's it's from an upcoming episode. Uh, okay. So I guess, I don't know. I just found that funny. But yeah, I would give it a nine out of 10 just because I thought wow. it's really close to being perfect. But yeah. And Dan, you gave an eight. Yeah, I would give it an eight because what I liked about it was they came up with a good excuse to like jumble up the cast, but in a fun way. Um, Yes. Yeah, it was kind of like an interesting like what if story that seemingly has some lasting repercussions because it's not like they lost the memory of what happened. Yes. Right after they suppressed the memory, like everything that they did thereafter, they'll, you know, that they kept and actually happened. So. It's a fun um, way to explore their personalities without the baggage of their histories. So it's like a good, this this feels like a writer would have a lot of fun with this premise, you know? Right, where, right. Where they're they're just like, oh, what would happen if they don't know anything? And But they're the same characters. You know, that'd it be a lot of fun. It almost feels like right, someone yeah. who wanted to like use Ro as a character without having to do the stupid trauma thing for her. Yeah, yeah. What if Ro did not have trauma, you know? What if Worf yeah, didn't it's like, have, I don't want to like- work with the story we've already built for her. Like, yeah, I, well, I, like <laughs> let me get this out of the way. Let's, just, let's get her like entangled with someone. Let's have her kiss someone. The funny part is that apparently the teleplay, the screenplay went through so many writers that they didn't end up even crediting the correct writers. They forgot. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So like someone named Barry Schultz, Schkolnik, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, was the credited writer, uh, but but someone I think it's Brandon Braga. He uh reveals that it was entirely written by Joe Minoski, pretty much. He did the final rewrite and he rewrote the whole thing. So huh. well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why the writing credit got lost. But yeah. what about you, Sarah? What would you Ooh, What would you go with? I think I would give it a nine as well. Oh. All right. All right. I obviously really liked this episode. As it's mentioned, it was a really fun way to explore the characters. And man, honestly, I really love the personal side of Star Trek. All it's really yeah. fun with the morals and the, you know, and the really fun science fiction part. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm a sucker for just good old who wants to fuck ship and dramas. Yeah. <laughs> good old people drama where it's like, I do well, like character driven stories her, and I fucked yeah. her. And what do I do now? And also nine to day space fiance. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. 90 day space fiance. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I just love that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, it was really cool to see again. I really yeah. loved Worf in this. I love seeing him step up and what it would look like if he was in charge and having his moment to shine and say yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. I'm the captain here and I got this shiny sash and uh, <laughs> this feels good. It feels good, you know? Um, but then al- al- also simultaneously being like, I'm so sorry I acted like that. That's like, <laughs> totally crazy. Like, we got to get all our me. guns up. Yeah. Yeah, we cannot turn the computers off for one minute. Our guns have to be ready <laughs> to shoot at all times. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really fun. And I do love this alien imposter lizard person that has this very sophisticated technology that I hope they look into, I guess. Or there's some kind of investigation on how it this happened off screen, apparently. And that was do it. the Lysians so, have like effective countermeasures for this weapon that they have? Because it seems like know. they could win with that alone. I don't know. And also, yeah. like, why was was it was it determined why this alien lizard guy wanted to attack this specific group of people? Oh, they're just uh, they're ju- they're they're they just at war. war. They but like, war. for about what? Like just random. No, and, and everything. Just a, just why, why, people, why, why are we going to war? Go to war? Yeah. We, it is, we don't uh, know why we go to war either. Okay, so. I guess it doesn't matter. But the biggest we love thing, oil. Yeah, oil. Um, space oil. Um, 
And the biggest thing, like Dan mentioned too, is that it doesn't seem like their memories are erased as to what happened during oh, this Oh, no, definitely weird... not. They're definitely not erased. Yeah. So that is going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. Like you would um, hope yeah, that this is future. a setup for further things with Roe. And Deanna, I don't and think so, whatever, or at know. least add some a little bit of personnel conflict, you know, or something. Because I think that's my biggest thing with Star Trek is like there's not a lot of interpersonal crew conflict. There's a lot of external conflict, but I I would personally like to see more. So crew yeah. member, crew member conflict resolution storylines. So that's something we talked it about. It just seems too perfect. That's yeah. something we talked about uh, early on in the podcast. Yeah. In that uh, a Gene Roddenberry mandate when he started TNG is that the future no longer has interpersonal conflicts. Nobody in the show yeah, should that, be well, fighting each other. True. That's yeah. not possible. How's that, that was possible? his like weird ideal vision for a uh, uh, vision if you for have the future. People, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. So so that's why like especially in the er- first two seasons, there's almost no like. Yeah. Anyone arguing the cl- the the most arguing you get is in Measure of a Man, which is like a courtroom drama written by someone who was not on the writing staff. So that's why you ended up with such a personal drama issue. And even then, they had to be put it in the the framework of a legal drama uh, in order to I get mean, away with interpersonal I want, conflict. I want to believe that in the future we evolve from the very horrible, disruptive all-time consuming politics we have in the workplace nowadays, which is like 99% of my job is literally dealing with egos and personalities all day. So, (laughs) and workplace conflict. So I would love to believe that we've come a long ways, but I don't think it's possible to be at this level in Star Trek and TNG that we've seen so far where it's just like, Almost as long as exist. humans are humans, it'll never yeah. go. Yeah, it's just not. Possible. And as long as Riker's fucking, that's always going to be an issue. There's always going to be someone. <laughs> so yeah, I give it a nine. Though pretty good episode. Right. I really liked it. It was yeah. fun. It was really we, fun. We, yeah, we finally watched an episode where we all seem to agree. We kind of like it. Finally. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a first. Yeah. Usually, Dan's we on the opposite. an issue where everyone was agreeing all the time. Yeah, like well, we, had a, we had a rash. Well, of that. What I mean is that, like the last few episodes, we've all been like, yeah, "This one's not that yeah, good." Yeah, Dan's been like <laughs> nine point nine, and we're like two. No I'm kidding, you don't give anything that. Well, high, even before Masterpiece like, Society, yeah. it was violations, and we were all like, oh, "Yeah." Sounds... Although we did like that, actually, Sarah and I, we liked that. I liked it. Yeah, but yeah. I, think... I don't even know what you guys are talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't even like remember our like ratings relative to each other, like for yeah. sure. So I'm not going to engage in this topic. <laughs> uh, well, all right, I'm, well, I'm unengaged. <laughs> You're Disengaged. unengaged. Yeah. Disengaged. This, Disengaged. Disengaged is not enough. Unengaged. <laughs> unengaged. <laughs> well, hopefully, you listeners were not unengaged as you listened to us talk about what was conundrum. That was the episode. <laughs> <You> <laughs> it was conundrum. That. What was it? Yeah. Conundrum. Actually, yeah. I think I said this last time. I really love the word conundrum. I use yeah, it a lot yeah, yeah, in yeah. my daily life. <laughs> if I have a, a problem at work, I'm like, oh, that's a conundrum. It's quite the conundrum. Quite the conundrum. Uh, but yeah, if you guys it's have a pretty been generic it. title for this episode, though. It they, is. They technically had a conundrum, but they have yeah, a conundrum. Yeah, but you can have a conundrum episode. in any goddamn episode. They, they have which a is conundrum say, every yeah. episode. <laughs> Even in Data's day, there were conundrums. Uh, yes. So, so yeah. The, the, they could have just named the episode Problem. <laughs> Pro- <laughs> Big Problem. problem. Big the Problem. problem. <laughs> Big Problem. <laughs> Big Problem. <laughs> yeah. uh, Major issue. Or just Situation. We have a situation. Uh, oh, yeah. they could have named it Situationship. Or like entangle <laughs> entanglements. Oh no, yeah, that's, that's too like specific to the side plot. That's too specific. I, yeah, I know, but I plot. like it. I liked it. I would have liked the reference, mm. although the reference was had not yet happened yet. But it would have been cool. Entanglements. Well, if, if you guys have been enjoying listening, you can always, if you want, leave us entangle comment, review, yourselves in our rating, in our, whatever, in wherever you are, YouTube. Spotify. Doesn't matter. Plex. I didn't. Uh, I learned you could put podcasts on Plex. It's what? Fascinating. What? Yeah. That's yeah, weird. It's a th- yeah. It's weird. Are we on Plex? I, no, every podcast no. is on Plex. So. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the automatic. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's that. Uh, but also, if you guys ever have an email that you want to send us and you want to ask us something specifically or whatever, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. 
So I'll just uh, I'll just start off the letter. Hi guys, huge Hello. fan of your show. Oh hi, my name, <laughs> my name is Dan, and as oh. I'm writing, hey. <laughs> and as I'm writing my letter, this, <laughs> and as I'm writing this email, I'm waiting for the car to pick my fiance and I up to take us home from the airport. We went to the Vegas Star Trek convention and what? had an absolute ball. Sarah, what was that? When the fuck was that? Uh, Very this recently. Is, yeah, it was, it, this is a little bit of an older email, so it's a little while. Oh my, because uh, like, yeah. wow, I'm I'm going next year. By the way, <laughs> Sarah, absolutely, I can tell you, Jonathan Frakes, everything you could want him to be. Oh, I know the cast of Next Gen it. are all wonderful people, with Brent Spiner being the funniest of them all. Oh, I, I also accidentally cut Michael Dorn off in a, in line, who <gasps> joked, "I'd better not do it again because he's a Klingon." Damn it! <laughs> I would uh, die. <laughs> I would literally die if he if uh, that happened to me oh I that's like that's when dan so prevented cool. uh uh batman from taking a poo <laughs> yeah i feel well, a little worse about it now <laughs> who rest in peace kevin yeah Aww. kevin dan kevin, kevin bacon kevin, Kevin Conroy. Conroy, Vo- God damn it! He'll remember, he'll remember that. He'll he he's, he he'll think about that forever in the afterlife. Uh, yeah, it's like that motherfucker. Uh, he's, he's, he'll be angry shit. at Dan forever. Yeah, uh, he is I love I, I, <laughs> because of be, uh, Kevin. Uh, the oh, the voice of Batman. I get. Yeah. It. Mm-hmm. Yes. God yes. damn! It. I was trying to figure. I was like. Kevin Costner. I don't know why I thought of Kevin no. Costner. <laughs> because of Waterworld. Yes, dude. It's you're always, always the Waterworld. You're That's always thinking of, of Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you guys go from unrelated topics to dissecting the deep ideas that are core to Trek. However, I must confess the real reason I'm emailing is because I saw multiple Del Taco signs throughout the strip. And yeah. New Ricardo oh, damn it, dude. Would, and New Ricardo Ugh. would absolutely love it. Yeah. Keep trekking. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the Keep thing, trekking, um, guys, until next no, wait, time. Wait, what's this guy's he name? He loves it. It's uh, Dan. It's Dan. Dan. It's Dan. Dan, <laughs> Dan let, let me talk to you, Dan. Dan, next time you go, ne- next time you go to who I, I knew this was fucking. It, it really is Dan, dude. Dan, uh, Dan. is this Dan? Is this our no, Dan? No, no, it's this? not. It's oh, not. Dan. We don't know that. We don't know that. There are yeah, dozens we're not sure. of us. <laughs> <laughs> dozens. Um, Dan's just trolling us. <laughs> You there did go is, to Vegas with me, Dan. So <laughs> there is a really <laughs> fancy uh, Taco Bell in Las it's Vegas. It's true. The cantina. And they serve yeah. uh, alcoholic drinks. Actually, it's true. Yeah, yes. they do. The, one in Hollywood yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, it's a, I'm it's going a to Vegas. One, yeah. I'm going to Vegas yeah. this weekend. I need to check it out. Maybe. Don't, I'll tell you what. Not where not to go. Del Taco on the street. <laughs> no, I'm never. They don't have a. They don't never. have a Del Taco cantina. You know what's weirdly never really really Taco. good in Vegas. The uh, Johnny Popeyes? Rockets. The Johnny oh. Rockets. Is oh, over yeah. There. The, remember, I got you. We got Dan. Yeah, Dan and yeah, us. Yeah, to the we point where we went Johnny multiple Rockets times after. and we were like, this is like good. really delicious for some reason. You know, reason. You, you guys want to have some night. good nachos? Just you be prepared go, to pay like 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go, go have the trash can nachos from uh, from uh, Guy Fieri's. Uh, Fieri? I don't, I, I've been to enough Guy like Fieri with... restaurants to know and, I never uh, want to go back ever again. Dude, the trash can nachos? Or what's on them? The Just trash everything? can shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, are they on the hook? On the hook. They're on the hook. They're on the everywhere, dude. Delicious. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, then, then they've like they failed. They're they're <laughs> on it. They're be- beside it. They're they're off the hook. <laughs> Wait. So Covered so they in. can be off the hook. They can be off the hook if you order them off the hook. You got to order them specially off the hook. <laughs> Man, guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Giving people it's, choices. Some people, some people like Del Taco fans. They like them on the hooks. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they let them order. Oh, <laughs> oh, what a bird! Oh, what a sick bird! Oh, we bobbing and weaving bird. now. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Dan, <laughs> Dan, oh we appreciate oh, oh, oh. your email, but I hate. I still hate Del Taco. Yeah. Um, I have a Del Taco so close to me. And I say, nope, I want to go true. to Taco Bell. That's a little farther yeah. than me. Absolutely. Ricardo, Ricardo and I, we live close by. We see that Del Taco. Yeah. And I'm honestly, I'm tempted every time. No, I'm don't do it, dude. It, it's, it's shit food, dude. Like, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's just yeah. fine. We'll get it's, sick. Just, it's okay it's just to eat yeah. there it, every if so you wanna, often. If you want to get sick, if you want to get sick, go to Del Taco, dude. <laughs> it's not a dichotomy. You can just eat there sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 don't ever go there, dude. <laughs> It's not good and evil. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but Dan, otherwise from the Del Taco photo, um, very nice it's email. A beautiful photo. Thank you. It's a beautiful look, you, look, I'm looking at the photo right email. now, and like it's it's kind of a Dutch angle, but you got this couple holding hands, 
and oh, they you do. Tell. They're really uh, loving. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Love in Vegas. Yeah. Love uh, Vegas. Yeah. But the only place where true love can bloom. Thank you for listening to us, yeah. Dan. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Well. And uh, you know what? Next year, I'm going to that Star Trek convention. I can't even. You're gonna get yourself uh, one of them Star Trek whores because uh, <laughs> it's legal over there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'd l- if I can find a Jonathan Franks look like. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh, actually, I actually, a r- real, real question here for all the listeners. If you made it this, made it this far, if I want to know, maybe we should put a poll on Instagram or something. But how many people are local to like California? And that's a good um, call. Do, just do to you know. do you guys go mm-hmm. to WonderCon at all? And if we, now this is too many questions, but we'll, we'll figure this out. But like, <laughs> if we if we had a panel at WonderCon next year, twenty twenty four. Well, how, how many people not would promising be anything obviously yeah, not promising or, anything. Just, or even we did, some sort of con yeah in the area did, some local um, con would yeah. you be oh, interested in, in showing up con. for like what if he did like a like a live uh recording of the show or something oh that'd yeah be so fun we'll 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 see we'll see it would it's... be really fun we're all local to socal so i mean you're local not like... me i'm loco <laughs> oh sick oh, burn bro Mm-hmm. You do that say that would be so fun. I would love to meet yeah. fans, listeners, whoever, and I don't know. I would love. I don't to want to meet, meet anybody. I, I just want to do the thing. People, I want to meet. I want to <laughs> talk. Yeah. To Star we'll just Trek do the people. panel and then walk away. And yeah, I don't, want, I don't want. I don't want anybody. <laughs> I want to meet Jonathan Frakes, please, Jonathan Frakes. No, I don't want to meet Jonathan Frakes. If you're He'll try to seduce <laughs> me. Actually, anyone, Sir Patrick Stewart, please. I'd love, to. I'd love to meet to? Lamar Burton. I would love to just like. I want to meet Ensign Rowe. If anybody knows Ensign Rowe. Michelle <laughs> Forbes. Oh, well. yeah. Mm, okay. She owns the Forbes um, magazine. So yeah, yeah. She's, she's exactly. Going places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would also love. Um, I I want to throw it out there that um, Sir Patrick Stewart's book is coming out this month. Oh yeah, we pre-ordered it. Yeah. And I uh, his book tour. He's on a book tour, and it's like fucking sold out everywhere. Yeah, we couldn't I, get tickets. I tried. To any of it. Yeah. I really wanted to go to the LA date. It's sold out in an instant. I'm so upset. If anyone here has the hookup listening, please, I would love to go to a book signing. <laughs> no, <laughs> for Patrick we're Stewart. too insignificant to get any sort of hookup. <laughs> I do like if the name of this book. Anyone has yeah. a spare ticket in the LA I, area? I do like the title, "Making It So." That's a pretty Making good title. Making it so. I, and yeah, honestly, that's a title that only he can use. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. our our YouTube shop is going to have it linked as a product to pre-order or whatever. So it's I think not a we shop. It's basically over. just it's just not a shop. Dude. Video. Not yeah. don't, don't call it a shop, dude. It's a, don't call it a shop. We're going to get okay. arrested, dude. I, it's, 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 a, a it's, it's a link of it. I call out a, a product a link. link. Of, I don't it's know. It's just a tag. It's a tag. Yeah. A tag. A, there we go. Yeah. A product yeah. tag. But yeah. I know I pre ordered the book. We're going to get um, blackballed. I can't. So oh, does, I that can't mean, does that mean? Does that mean? Does that mean if we see if we see mention a product, it like tags it? No, we we so a oh. little bit of inside baseball. We we manually tag it. Tapatio tahin, tapatio oh, tahin, oh, tahin, 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 tahin. Oh, they're in there. It's all tagged. They're in there. All tagged already. Don't worry, dude. They're yeah. in you there. can buy your tapatio. You can buy your tahin. Yeah. You can buy your. Do you it know so if they book. have uh, tahin flavor? Only condoms. if you want to support us yeah. by buying those things, and I'm just you telling so. you because these are all things that I bought. So if you want to support America, you buy yourself some tapatio condoms. Yeah. Drake Drake's Tapatio Drake's, condoms. Drake's Tapatio condoms, dude. Oh he's my a, gosh! He's, yeah, he's a, na- he's a national Drake, treasure, real American. Yeah, he's the, that's the collab we we all need. Tapatio uh, X Drake. Like, <laughs> that would be amazing. X unusable condoms. <laughs> um, well, no, you <laughs> use them, but, but but as soon as you take them off, they they there's, become yeah. The there's Tapatio like a infused. hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. it's like a yeah. some mechanism that like when you're done with it. Oh, you it's like, like the packaging for yeah. like like rice yeah, balls yeah. in Japan, yes. where as you Whatever unwrap them, <laughs> yeah. the, the nori wraps perfectly on the rice. It's the yes. same thing. So this yeah. one, yeah. Tapatio, exactly. just goes throughout and, and like kills the sperm. It's like a dye whatever. pack on a, on, a, on, a, on a bank fucking- Dan has yeah. the most yeah. bewildered expression yeah. on his face right Dan, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dan, Dan does not. When you rob Dan a bank. When, <laughs> Dan, Dan, when you rob a bank- I was actually trying to wrap my head around the onigiri thing. I didn't know that thing. that was a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. They have it in Korea too, where it's like to, be, to make sure the nori doesn't get dry, it's like separately packaged somehow, but by opening the package, it wraps it around the rice. It's crazy. Are it's you like talking sick. about like it's it's a it's a lubricant for the yes. nori? It, it lubes, mm-hmm. lubes the nori. Oh. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, speaking of lube, next week we're going to watch Power Play. Mm. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, the lubrication yeah. must be involved with a title yes. like that. Oh, I forgot to mention it. Uh, FugitiveFrames.com if you want to see other stuff. You can go over there. Or don't. But- or whatever you want to do. We have a lot of other stuff over there. Yeah, but, Some but, cool stuff. We could have other stuff. We don't yeah. yet. But power play is happening next week. Don't it's not a hockey it. term. It's it's a, a different term that'll be used here. But it's yeah, a sexual well, term. Yeah. yeah, sounds like a sex thing. Yeah. I mean, the photo is of Data choking Picard, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. I guess if you're into that. <laughs> sounds like I a mean, Nintendo yeah. magazine thing. <laughs> All right. Wow, right, don't well, knock it till you try it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's some people were into it too much, like David Carradine. Yeah. Uh, R.I.P. You know. R.I.P. Dude. <laughs> Do you know what? I, you know what? I, yeah, here, here's what really chaps my butt about David Carradine, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. If, if you if you guys really want to know my opinion, dude, I I kind of like, do now. <laughs> that like like the bellboy that found him didn't have the I, look. I get you walk in, you see the body, but like, yeah, you he could have taken his body off the thing, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, he and made been like it, he, and and been like, oh, it, it's probably foul play. Like, <laughs> make make them go on a wild goose hunt instead of just being like, oh, he fucking was jacking off and he was choked himself to death. <laughs> like, like you could give him some dignity, put him on the bed, put a fucking uh, a fucking a gi on him. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. <laughs> you redress him. I mean, only yeah. if you have gloves handy. Yeah, <laughs> you'd only want to do that if you have gloves handy, or 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 at least wait for the cops to get there and go, hey, let me let me give him some dignity, dude. Let me put him in a gi, dude. Um, <laughs> that'll give him dignity. That'll give him dignity, dude. <laughs> and peace and death. Um, oh my god, uh, <laughs> put a gi on him. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, David Carradine. Wait, wait, the, the, <laughs> why is that weird? It was going to be with it David Carradine. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Well, 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 the, he makes perfect sense, dude. Like, he, he was, he was a, a martial artist, dude. <laughs> well, it's got to be a fake gi. <laughs> no, a real gi, dude. Uh, it's got to be fake. Uh, oh, my he, God. He played an Asian man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what, what better person to play an Asian man than him, dude? <laughs> he owns so many keys. Um, <laughs> give him some dignity. Give him some dignity, people. All right. If you find somebody that's uh, that's auto asphyxiated themselves, give him some dignity, dude. Yeah. I think so. I think so. Erotically yeah. auto asphyxi- yeah, asphyxiated yeah. themselves. Yeah. 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 Erotic auto asphyxiated. Yeah, you get there. You get there. It's God hard. It. It's hard. Situation. Okay. Goodbye, God, everybody. can't do it. Goodbye. On right, that guys. note, <laughs> hey, hey, on that note, night. on that have note, if you're gonna do it, if you're day. gonna do it, get yourself a spotter. Yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. probably a really mm-hmm. good idea. <laughs> yeah. Preferably yeah. someone else who's a, who is at least a little into it, so it's not too awkward. Well, or no, maybe no, there's no. like, is a there like friend, a time? A is there friend, a time? A real release? friend will just show up and be like, "Look, I'm going to turn away. I dude. got you, dude. You do I your got thing, you, dude. Yeah. I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn around in five minutes, and then if you're if you're if you're in peril. I'll yeah. go and get you, dude. But yeah. if you're not in peril, put your fucking dick away, dude. Um, <laughs> or you can walk out of the room and just say, you know, I'll come back in five, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that might be too late if, if you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, dude, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's five is good. Five's good. <laughs> Two, one. I'll come back in 60 seconds. You have to be in the room. You don't have that much time, actually. You either that or have like a, a camera feed. <laughs> dude, I got yeah. it. I got it. I got it. I got to figure it out, guys. You <laughs> built, you know how Miles Dyson had that fucking trigger thing in Terminator 2? <laughs> And like so, you have you press yeah. the thing while you're cranking it on your, with your left hand. You crank it with your right. You, you hold the trigger with your left. And if you start going, if you start passing out, you let go of it, and your friend knows I got to run in there. That recontextualizes that sound a little too yeah. easily. You know, because I was about to do that, Marvin, and I, I I stopped myself because I knew what that would happen. I knew what that would sound like. <laughs> Oh my god, someone could easily just comp in like a belt in that shot in the scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <laughs> but but am I am I Thank wrong? Thank God dude? this has nothing to wrong? do with Star Trek, so it can't be a clip. <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> or can't no? it? Now you're making it a clip, Dan. It has become a clip. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, dude. That would be a great invention, right? I mean, it's a, it's a it's a cheap way to have a failsafe switch. I mean, it's right? just a different so. use of a dead man switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which so, is, which is an existing concept. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, just saying it, it could work. 
It's true. It could work. On that note, work. we've given everyone a lot to think about for this episode. So Yeah, a lot of geese to, to think about. Yeah. yeah, ponder that conundrum. <laughs> a lot of conundrums to think about. But thank you for listening. We love you. I love you. I'm on the fence. You say that else. like it means we don't love them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to speak for well, you Why guys? would you throw us under the bus like that, Sarah? <laughs> yeah, that puts pressure on us, Sarah. Yeah. We love you. We if love you. Like, like, wait, they, they, did, they didn't say it too. Do now. <laughs> Maybe Sarah loves us. God damn it, Marvin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your selective cutting. Um, all right, all right, I love all right. you guys. Thank you for listening. That's all. Either way, it's fine. No one cares. Bye. We're all going to die. Act accordingly. Bye.